you get over the hump, so uh, it definitely hurts. Here's the funny part. State, the players, the coaches, I assume they aren't going to get what everyone's going to tell them. What I mean by that is everybody is going to tell them, oh, how can you be upset? It was such a good run. Oh, you guys, you, you, you really captivated. You gave everyone something to believe in. The reason why they aren't going to understand that is because they don't go on this run that they went on if they didn't expect to win the national championship. Right there, it's so easy to look at it and say, "Yeah, but you have to be happy with a Final Four run, right?" I mean, you guys were the tenth seed in the ACC. You have to be happy with making it to the Final Four, right? But if they thought that way, they would have never made it as far as they did. If they had to be happy with like what kind of makes sense, they would have bowed out in the second round of the ACC tournament and went, "Well, that's kind of what you expect." They knew they were doing something special. They believed they were going to do something even more special. Felt like 83, and it ended. In time, they'll look back and say that season was pretty awesome. But right now, I bet you they are hurt. I bet you it does stink that they got so close. They probably did talk themselves into we can be national champions. Do you know why? Because it was possible they were the fourth. They were in the final four. Hey, you get there, you have a chance to do it. Simple as that. Now, that's something to keep in mind, though, is that four teams show up, only one walks away happy. I mean, in, in a bigger sense, what is it, 68 teams show up, only one walks away happy. Yeah, even more. Only one team that makes it to the NCAA tournament gets to end their season with a win. State got four wins before finally bowing out, which is way more than most get. Again, we'll open up the Heaster Automotive Group hotline for your reflections on the run that is uh, NC State to the Final Four. 919-860-5326. I should probably put it in past tense, the run that was NC State to the mm-hmm. Final Four, 919-860-5326. Uh, we're going to take a break. But first, I want to tell you about my friends over at Miller Lending. And, of course, that means Gordon Miller as well. They are the home of the no-closing-cost loan. We're already starting to see, if, if you pay attention to the, the market reports, people are starting to predict rate drops. They're starting to predict interest rate drops. That means you can start to predict a call to Miller Lending to make sure that when these rates drop, you can take advantage of it, and you don't have to go into your own pocket to do so. Gordon Miller's been doing no closing cost loans since 1987. What that does is it allows you to take kind of the the worry out of it. If you're going to spend thousands of dollars in closing costs to refi your house, or refi your mortgage, I should say, you want to make sure it's at the rock bottom. Is this the lowest it's going to be for the next five years? Is this the lowest it's going to be? If you're not taking those thousands of dollars out, do it now. If you need to do it again in six months, do it again in six months. It's all at MillerLending.com. Uh, Again, you can check them out, MillerLending.com, or give them a call, 919-447-3377. That's 919-447-3377. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, and MLS number 250-2146. We're going to take a break. When we come back, some of your reactions, again, on the Heaster Automotive Group hotline to NC State's run coming to a close, 919-860-5326. And a fun uh, fun little eclipse bit of trivia coming your way. Stick around. Bring on the madness. But unfortunately, the Pac's journey ends here in Phoenix tonight. And so does one of the most memorable seasons in recent NC State basketball history. The inbound to Ross and UConn can see history. One win away from a repeat national championship. College basketball tournament action on 99.9 The Fan is powered by Carolina Ale House, Fairway Green, and Bailey's Fine Jewelry. Soundstation and Security, your automotive and audio experts. Car audio, car video, home theater, wheels and tires, and so much more. Plus, did you know Soundstation and Security offers full service for your vehicle? Alignments, inspection, oil changes, window tinting, and custom exhaust. And with a variety of financing options, Soundstation and Security can help you get what you need today. Two locations, downtown Smithfield and on Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh. Soundstation and Security. Visit My Hot Sound. Dot com.
Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Sports betting has arrived in North Carolina, and Underdog is entering the game. That's right, North Carolina gets Underdog Sportsbook first. Dennis Cox, my friends over at Underdog. Underdog has been working hard behind the scenes to create a sportsbook app using their own technology that caters to you, the sports fan. And that's where Underdog Fantasy makes things simple for you. They are creating an experience for you, the user, and that way you can actually help shape the future of the app. I use Underdog, and it's simple and easy to use. There's a lot of different easy features for you to follow, and that's the reason why I use Underdog Sports app. Download the Underdog Sports app on iOS or Android. Sign up with the promo code Dennis, my name, and use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. That's Underdog Sportsbook Promo code Dennis. Must be 21 or over to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply and can be found in the Underdog Sportsbook app. (laughs) What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to... $2 $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash scratch-offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Lowe's knows pros need the right tools for every job. That's why we sell the largest in-store selection of Klein tools anywhere. Find new items like the self-leveling green laser level for just $159.98. Plus, shop the Connect Pass-Through Socket Set for $49.98, which you can only find at Lowe's. Shop Klein Tools in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows tools. Lowe's knows pros. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan, back on the air. This is one of my favorite uh, type of radio bits, the kind that you need to be able to see to understand. Both Dennis and I have our Eclipse glasses on. This is where the 99.9 The Fan YouTube page comes in. We're live. (laughs) During that commercial break, I did run outside. I did look at the Eclipse. Uh, And it is uh, kind of difficult to see when you are – (laughs) <laughs> when you're inside with them. But uh, it's also kind of difficult. I'm going to take them off now so I can see. Uh, Dennis is going to keep his on. Um, the uh, It's hard not to see the similarities between a run like NC State's and the Eclipse. Do you know why? Fleeting, right? Here today, gone tomorrow. It's It's fun. It's exciting. Everyone from the office ran outside. Everybody wanted to be a part of it. It was communal. It felt like everybody was involved. And then, you know, a couple minutes later, it's over. For our reflections on the the run that NC State had. And if you want to mix in an Eclipse story, heck, we'll hear it. Uh, 919-860-5326, Heaster Automotive Group Hotline. Uh, we go to Kevin in Apex. He's on the line, been waiting patiently. Kevin, thank you for calling in. Uh, what's your reflection on the run by the Wolfpack? 
it, it just magical run. Having the kids watch the games with me and, and literally telling them, this may never happen again in your lifetime. It, it just binds us all together. Every state fan has their own little anecdote about how many times we've screwed up and we've lost it. And Philip Rivers' elbow was over and everything. We are a big community of just awesomeness. And my best anecdote, and my son has heard this a billion times. He's so sick of it. I got sent to Chicago in 2012, and I bought a Cubs cap. And I was going to raise my son as a Cubs state fan. I was like, he will never know success. It will make him strong. And the Cubs went and ruined it. And you know what my son and I did this weekend? We burned that damn hat because it's (laughs) over. We know success. We've tasted it. And we loved it. And we loved it. And I'm so proud of the team. So proud of them. Kevin, that is a a fantastic uh, call. We very much appreciate you sharing your story. Yep. Go Pack. Bleed red, baby. (laughs) There you go. I I love the fact that he tried to pick suffering groups for his son to become a fan of. Seriously. As like, it's going to build character. He's going to know what it's like to overcome adversity. He's going to be a Cubs fan and a Pack fan. That is a a, uh, bit of tough love, a little TLC from from Pops to Son there. Um, Here's here's the thing that I'm going to say about the Eclipse and kind of how it relates to, to NC State. NC State's goal has to be that it's not like the eclipse, right? Because guess what's going to happen with the eclipse? It's going on right now. Like, it's, we're in the thick of it. It started mm-hmm. at uh, three fifteen fifty seven, and I think it lasted like three minutes at its peak. Uh, at least what, for our area. Yeah, for right here, for in Raleigh, for where we're, we're seated right now. Um, like, we're right in the middle of it, and guess what's going to happen? After those three and a half minutes, it's over, and it's just a memory. It's just, hey, remember that cool, cool eclipse we had? It worked that one day. We all went outside and looked. State has to do everything they can to make this run. Not, hey, remember that one year we had that cool month? Remember that? Yeah, we, we all went to, to Phoenix to watch the game. Really? Remember that? Remember we were the center of the basketball universe for that one time, that one time? They need to turn it into, remember that one time where we made the Final Four and reset the expectations and, and got back to, to being a team that expected to get there more often? That's the whole thing, right? How do you how do you build off of this is the next question. Kevin Keats was uh, speaking to the media about he, him being hopeful more attention was coming for NC State. I hope people understand that we have a heck of a, a basketball program and um, we, we play a unique style and we've got a great culture. You know, what's not talked about enough is – and we've had five teams in the last couple of years get in the tournament. We're one that's been two years in a row. Like, it's almost forgotten because we didn't have, we didn't make a run last year. But this is back-to-back NCAA tournaments where our league is so good and we're not getting the respect that we deserve. So in two years where we've got five, we've been one of the five a couple of years. Give them a lot of credit. I do think it's a lot about building now. Right, all this attention, how do you translate attention to recruiting? All of this attention, how do you translate attention to fundraising dollars, NIL dollars, to facilities uh, being improved? Whatever you think you need to be an elite program, how do you, you directly, what's the um, uh, transfer rate? What do you call it when, it when it's, oh gosh, when you're going from like currency from another place here. Is it transfer rate? That, that's not it. Exchange it? rate. Exchange rate. That's what I'm talking about. How do you exchange all of this buzz for something that can help you build into the future? That's what you're talking about right now. It's a like what they just did was an amazing moment. Mm-hmm. This whole run, but it has to be more than just the moment. If if that's yes. for NC State, it has to be more than just the moment. You have to build from it. The moment will never go away. Exactly. Even if it is just the moment, it's still awesome. But you you don't want to you don't want to settle for that. Right, even if it is just hey, remember DJ Burns? That's going to be a, a smile face, a smile put on the face of NC State fans forever. Hey, remember DJ Burns? It's going to be like you darn right I do, and and it's going to be a good conversation. But it's it, it would be better, and this is what you have to aim for. If it's remember when DJ Burns lifted the program back to the heights of the '80s and it stayed there, that's the 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 real winner. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine, the fan. Uh, I had Dennis uh, look up some some facts here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the way this works is – actually, Dennis suggested. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, the last eclipse that was a full eclipse in North America was in 2017. Uh, quick personal story on this one. 
for two years, I uh, I talked about on air in this small town in Nebraska that I was working, this eclipse, okay? And it was big because we were like 35 minutes from the third best place in the world to watch this eclipse. The line was going right over it. There were no cities anywhere nearby, so there was no light uh, uh, pollution. Mm -hmm. It was going to be just awesome. For two years, we talked about you're not going to be able to get a hotel in the area. Restaurants were booked up. Astronomers and scientists were coming through. Two weeks before the eclipse. I talked about this thing on air for two years. Two weeks before the eclipse, I got a job somewhere else and left. To a place where we didn't even get a complete and total. We didn't even get 100% solar eclipse. My wife, who had to hang back because her job wasn't done yet, she got to go sit in a farm and watch literally like the most all-dropping eclipse that you'd have in a lifetime. With that being said, that was in 2017. <laughs> uh, so, Dennis, where were we at in 2017 as, as a, a, a triangle sports entity? All right, so that was August of 2017 when that happened. Also, 2017 was the last time we had two one seeds play in the men's national championship. UConn, I'm sorry, UNC versus Gonzaga. Ironically, we have two one seeds playing in the national championship today in UConn versus wish you would Purdue. Have, wish you would have given me that bit of information prior to me setting my bracket. You know, I didn't think about it, okay? No, actually, I did put two one seeds in the final. I just picked the wrong one seeds. You have UConn one in the whole U- thing. UConn so and Houston. You're still holding on to that. By the way, the last time uh, we had one school that had a men's and women's basketball team in the Final Four was 2017. It there was South Carolina. We have two of them this year. Uh, so it's amazing how it all works out. By the way, 2017, Martin Natchez was drafted 12th overall wow. by the Carolina Hurricanes. Sebastian Ajo was going into his second season, and Tom Dundon was not the owner of the Canes. Well, you forget that Ajo was here before Dundon because it feels yeah. like their rise has, has been alongside each other. His rookie season was 2016-2017 with Sebastian Ajo. By the way. And he was 12 years old? Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> I think he's 13 now. Uh, 2017, also the year Christian McCaffrey was drafted eighth overall by the Carolina Panthers, and Taylor Moten was also drafted in the second round, 64th overall that year. You want to see the difference between a, a well-functioning franchise and a dysfunctional <laughs> franchise? There's that. Ajo and McCaffrey, two young stars, very early in their careers. Look at how differently, though. They've both had ups and downs. Don't get me wrong. It's not like Ajo's been only ups, right? There's Mm -hmm. been things. uh, But McCaffrey is now, you know, playing in Super Bowls for someone else. And Ajo is the the foundation, one of the foundational pieces of one of the best teams in, in the NHL. Also in 2017, speaking of the NFL draft, Mitchell Trubisky was drafted Mm -hmm. second overall. Patrick Mahomes went 10th. But uh, f- goodness yeah. gracious. Uh, final one here. 2017, Kevin Keats was hired as NC State's basketball coach in 2017. You want to talk about living a life. The ups and downs since 2017 for Kevin Keats? From the eclipse to eclipse. That, that is from the dark to the light in the last however many weeks even, let alone years. Now he's going to be around for a while. Probably When's the next eclipse? Do we know? I think 20 years here in North 20 America, years? I want to say. Kevin Keats still around? If he's still around, it means they're, they're successful. He has a much better chance of still being around now than he did a month and a half ago. Uh, the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Those are some fun facts about the eclipse and where we were in 2017. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Check them out online, deepriversportingclays.com. Hey, I just actually want to throw this one out there to the hockey fans out there. Before your team hits the ice, I know we got uh, maybe some playoffs upcoming for maybe a, a team in your favorite area. But just minutes away from the heart of Raleigh is Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School, and they offer world-class shooting experience for beginners and seasoned pros alike. A variety of targets and all the gear that you need. You'll be breaking clays in no time. So when you're teams away grab some friends head to deep river for an unforgettable outdoor adventure it's the perfect way to keep the adrenaline pumping and the good times rolling take advantage of the excitement at deep river sporting clays check them out online deep river sporting clays.com again get started at deep river sporting clays.com when you swing through there let them know dennis sent you the drive with tim donnelly 99.9 the fan we talked a little bit about the canes there where they were in 2017 where they are right now is four games away from the postseason Four games. Are they back on track after two wins over the weekend? Stick around. To tell you that Keno picks 20 winning numbers, we wrote a winning number of our own. Hit it, boys. You pick up the 10. Keno picks 20. 
It's easy to play for a whole lot of money. Winning numbers are everywhere with Keno from the North Carolina Education Lot. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds to win a prize range from 1 in 3.86 to 16.63. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers. The people who refuse to make trade-offs in life. Like Kelly, when her old car insurance got so expensive that she couldn't afford to drive anymore, do you think she started carrying her groceries for miles? No but she did find Direct Auto savings that allowed her to drive instead of compromise. With savings of up to 25%, you too can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a quote today at directauto.com. Savings based on applied discounts and will vary. Terms apply. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston Salem. It's the first day of the first grade and she found a new best friend. It's a laid back Sunday afternoon. You wish would never Homemade taste of bluebell and good friends gathered round. The good old days are being made right now. St. Louis brought the world gooey butter cake. Now Bluebell brings us gooey butter cake ice cream. A cake batter ice cream with a luscious cream cheese swirl and gooey butter cake pieces. Mmm, it's the gateway to the best in pints and half gallons. The good old days are being made right now. The good old days are being made right now. Look for Bluebell ice cream available at Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Hey, friends, Paul Eihander from 99.9, the fan for fan duel. It is playoff time. NHL, NBA, and baseball is in full swing. FanDuel is your place to bet on every game. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you bet your first five bucks. Just visit FanDuel.com slash Paul. Paul with a capital P and sign up. Then you can bet on everything from slap shots to slam dunks to home runs all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. So get started today. $200 in bonus bets, win or lose, when you place your first $5 bet. Visit FanDuel.com slash Paul, P-A-U-L, and get started. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 21 plus and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only. $10 deposit required. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at FanDuel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. He's a former coach with two sons who played professional basketball. Satch Sullinger's a competitive individual, but his golf game was suffering because of painful joints. Right. That's real important. The golf game. Right. As we get older, we create these bad habits because we're relegated to hit a certain way. QC Kinetics used regenerative treatments, all natural healing properties from Satch's own body to restore those damaged joints and get his golf game back on track. QC Kinetics regenerative medicine is regenerating me. All natural. And that's what I'm about. I'm going to tell everybody why I'm better. Oh, and by the way, it looks like the competitive Satch is back. We're all in the same boat, and I'm getting better, and I'm watching them stay old. Go to QCKinetics.com. Get relief and your game back. Call for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. And carry Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest, 919-400-5473. Lowe's knows pros need the right tools for every job. That's why we sell the largest in-store selection of Klein tools anywhere. Find new items like the self-leveling green laser level for just $159.98. Plus, shop the Connect Pass-Through Socket Set for $49.98, which you can only find at Lowe's. Shop Klein tools in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows tools. Lowe's knows pros eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Get a great deal this spring on a new train heating and cooling system. Train systems are engineered to keep up with you. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer and learn more. It's hard to stop a train. Carolina. 
Smith, unfazed, won't move it in. Special cup shoots. He scores! Welcome back! That's the way to feel better. Carolina up 1-0. 17 seconds into this one. Andre Svechnikov. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9, the fan. That Svech goal did feel like he was trying to tell somebody something. I don't know who, but I the message was something along the lines of, I'm just fine. Watch what I can do. Scored about, what was it, two and a half seconds into the game? Felt yeah. like it. Uh, the Canes got two wins over the weekend against Washington, a team they might see in the playoffs, uh, and Columbus, a team that nobody will see in the playoffs. No, uh, God, no. And, and, and after the, the golf course. <laughs> there you go. Cabo, fishing. Uh, and, and, and after the Thursday loss to Boston, felt back on track-ish. Right, felt like there there was a bit of hey, let's make sure we take care of business. Four uh, two win over Washington Friday, three zero win over Columbus on Sunday. Uh, two very good, very run of the mill victories for a top team in the league. Yeah, Gensel played well versus Washington. Guess what? He's a good player. Pl- good players play well. So did Aho. So did a few others. Right. Th- this is for better or worse. Right. Uh, where I've stood for as long as I can remember and will continue to stand, you can't prove anything to me in the regular season, right? It all comes down to what you do in the postseason. So the only things that matter about those two games they played over the weekend, the only things that matter about that Thursday game against Boston, the only things that matter about these upcoming four road games to end their season is this. What carries over to the postseason? What changes the way you play in the postseason? What makes a decision easier for you in the postseason, right? Sometimes you, you uh, right, like the, the goalie situation. We've, we've been talking about it. Oh, how far we've come, right? Be, before the trade deadline, there was maybe some talk even coming from people that might currently be speaking to you right now on your mm-hmm. radio saying to go trade for a goalie. Yeah. Uh, which, looking back, Don Waddell, touche. You, you, you made a better decision than I would have made. Um, but it also has come down to, is it Piotr or Freddie? Is it Piotr Kochekov, who for much of the season has been your number one guy because Freddie wasn't around? Uh, or is it Freddie, who is coming back off the blood clotting issue and is playing really, really well? Um, I think what they wanted was sometime over the last few games into the next few, somebody to grab the job from the other, kind of bull by the horn style, and say, I'll be darned if you're taking me out of the net. And it seems like that's what Freddie's been doing. Three out of his last seven games have been shutouts. I don't care who they are against. If you hold NHL teams to zero goals, you're going to get my attention. And if you're doing it at three out of seven clip, you're going to hold my attention and you're going to earn your spot in that net. Since March 7th, his return, so we're looking at a month here, 8-1-0, 954 save percentage, goals against 1-2-2, and like you said, three shutouts. And And... That's with us building in the – he could be rusty for a couple starts. Yeah. Like, like that's not starting after he hit his stride. That's starting from the jump, right? That's starting right from the, the, the moment he came back from the blood clotting issue. Here's Rod Brindamore on, uh, on Freddie. I mean, he did have – make some saves, obviously. We had a bunch of almost, you know, they didn't convert on. But he, he's just, like you said, I think uh, he's been real solid since he's come back. And he studies it. Like, he's just very uh, calm back there. And I think that certainly helps. So let's talk about this in the framework that I that I was discussing earlier. What can you take from it into the postseason? I think what you've ta- you take from it is – Pyotr Kochekov is one of the best number two goalies in the postseason. And and it's now clear. And it's it's if Pyotr wants to be mad about it, he could like there are stats. You know what I love about like track or wrestling or swimming, right? If 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 you go to the coach and you're like, I want to be the 200 individual individual medley swimmer, it's like perfect. At practice tomorrow, you'll go up against our Number one at the 200 individual medley. And if you win, we can have that conversation. If you don't, sorry. Right? I, I, I Like, wrestling is notorious, right? The night before a meet, you can wrestle off for your, your weight class. And it's like, great. You can settle it. It's it, Goalie is kind of similar, right? 
I want to be the number one goalie. It's like, yeah, well, if you look at it since he came back one for one, he's played better than you. Now, there, yes, it's a team sport, so all oh, the defense was playing better in front of him. Oh, he got the easier draw. Yeah, but but I think we can all go by eye test. I think we can all go by the numbers. I think we can all go by multiple different evaluation techniques. It's Freddie's net. It's not a knock on Piotr either. No. He's been playing great too. My, again, like I said, it's the best number two. He's number two, though. And I, and I think it's obvious, and I think that's important, right? There's the whole cliche with quarterbacks. If you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks. What you really just need is somebody to grab the job and say, it's mine, and I believe Freddie did that. Now, here's the other part. Freddie does get hurt, right? Knock on wood, throw salt over your shoulder, uh, say whatever you need to say, whatever your your uh, superstitions are. So, Piotr is very important. Coach Ekhoff is very important, but – I think you're more confident with with Freddie and Net for a must win game in the postseason. And guess what? Every game is a must win game in the postseason. We're close to it. Freddie's locked in. He's the guy. And and now you have four games on the road to get your guy ready, your backup guy ready, and maybe even you throw a a, a start or a third period or something to Spencer Martin just to to make sure he's in a little bit of rhythm. I would not be surprised when the last game of the season rolls around next week. They're at Columbus, like it's Tuesday. And if the Canes' position is set, I wouldn't be surprised if Spencer Martin starts that game just to make sure Freddie and or Piotr don't get hurt. It's fair. Yeah. It is fair, but... Because as well as that, if one of those guys does get hurt, Spencer Martin's going to be dressing. And you want to make sure that he doesn't go, you know, two and a half months between starts. Yeah, except he, he does strike me as one of those guys. True, but still... I mean, if 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 he's making starts, it's oh boy, yeah. It's it, you you look at that first line and you say, can you give me four and a half goals today? <laughs> like like it, we're gonna need to get you know it's it's run support, right? When you got a pitcher out there that's a little little chaotic, you look at your hitters and go, we might have to score ten. So at least you're aware, right? Swing for the fences. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine. The fan. Uh, we talked a lot of big picture stuff about NC State earlier in the show. Right, the the run coming to an end, how fun it was, the appreciate it, what can you do to build off of it? What we didn't talk enough about is the game. Why didn't they beat Purdue? How didn't they beat Purdue? What looked like it was unstoppable at times during the the, the tournament, both ACC and NCAA, why didn't that work against Purdue? Here's the first thing I'm going to say. The wheels did not fall off for NC State, Okay. This was not a game where they did not belong. It was not a game that gave the people that said, the only reason NC State's in the, the Final Four is because the tournament is wacky. Did not give them any fodder, right? Did not give them any ammunition. They looked like they belonged, particularly on defense. They held Purdue, who had been at times rolling through teams in the tournament, made them very uncomfortable, which – for NC State is an accomplishment, right? Like Zach Eady uh, turned the ball over a bunch. Those shooters on the perimeter were not comfortable shooting. There was frustration. They forced one of the more level-headed guards, Smith, uh, for Purdue, one of the more level-headed kind of veteran, you're not going to rattle him guards, into multiple backcourt violations. Like, like they did a lot of very good things on defense. Here's what I think it boils down to. Two, two things, actually. One, the big guys for NC State had a really hard time scoring, and I do think you have to tip your cap to Purdue on some of that. And two, Michael O'Connell got hurt. And and we'll talk about them in reverse order. We'll talk about the O'Connell injury first. I love the warrior mentality, right? I uh, Stretch me out. Like, put me on the bike. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. I actually think that worked against NC State a little bit because it was – it threw off rhythm. He's in. He's out. He's in. He's out. He's hurt. He's good. He only played three minutes there in the second half. And those three minutes were wincing. Those three minutes were not moving super uh, comfortably. It's a really tough situation for a basketball player to be in there, not able to explode off of one of your legs because you're worried about what's going to pop. Yeah, it was a hamstring injury. 
I love the warrior mentality. I love the there's no way you're keeping me out of this game. I love the I'm a basketball player, and this is the final four, and I had a fast break, and I've, I've made that move th- a thousand times, and for some reason my leg tweaked this time, and, and I'm not going to have that be my final uh, picture of me in the final four. But him being in and out and just his absence, I think did put NC State in a bit of a spin because – DJ Horn, who all ACC and NCAA tournament was allowed to just hunt his shot, right? Was allowed to be like a one track minded scoring mercenary, suddenly became you have to initiate the offense. Mm-hmm. Casey Morsell, who was able to expend so much energy on defense, suddenly became you have to initiate the offense. Jaden Taylor, who was microwave offense off the bench, right? Come out shooting, come out being energy. You have to initiate the offense. And this was just something added to all of their plates that wasn't there during the run, and that's nobody's fault, right? Injuries happen. The other thing that I that I brought up is the big guys couldn't score. Give Edie credit. He doesn't block every shot, but he is affecting. He impacts. It's just knowing he's there makes your life more difficult. Middlebrooks and Diara. It's not like they didn't make shots that they – it's not like they went one for nine and just had a super cold shooting night. They didn't take that many shots. And I think it's just because it's like, mm, pump fake, ooh, don't want to go there, kick it out. <laughs> like it's just a very quick decision that might be the right decision, but when what NC State had done so much is score inside, which opened everything else out, they had to go and reverse this this game. Uh, and, and that's just the tip of the cap to to Purdue. What I will say, I think Edie and Burns, I think Zach Edie and DJ Burns, I think it lived up to what we wanted it to. Mm-hmm. For the first time, I think, in either of their careers, they dropped down to lower a shoulder to somebody, and that somebody didn't move. Right? It's it's like, I don't know, the, the Burns was given the business, and Edie, you know, if they smacked into each other 18 feet from the bucket and DJ Burns had the ball, you could very much tell DJ Burns was used to, if I make contact with you 18 feet from the bucket, we move to 15 feet from the bucket. And and if I bang into you again at 15 feet from the bucket, we move to 12 feet from the bucket. And he could just do that to everybody. And with Edie, it was, it was a stalemate. It was boom, and they were right back where they started. And the same was true on the other side. Edie would put his back into to Burns, particularly early on. I give Burns a lot of credit. He he tackled that that challenge. He was guarding. I thought for sure it would be Diara and Middlebrooks guarding Edie. And if in break glass of a case of emergency, they might be able to throw Burns on him. The first four or five minutes, Burns was guarding Edie by himself. And and Edie was throwing what he had at him, having some success, not easy success. I think that matchup lived up to what it should. I think, you know, Edie had, what, 22 and 12, 20 and 12, something like yeah, that? Yeah, 20 and 12. That's a good day, but they were hard earned. They were they were not an easy twenty. They were not all dunks. They were like they made him work. If yeah, they forced five turnovers from Edie as well. By the way, that's his lowest point total since February fourth. Point proven. Yeah, and that's a two time Naismith Player of the Year last year and this year, and and they bottled them up pretty good. The difference is some of the stuff we saw from from Horn on the other end. Which, by the way, aren't bad shots. Some of the hook shots, some of the the faders and leaners, and and all the skill and and savvy and finesse stuff we'd seen rattled out, a little too strong. I, I I just I think it's a situation where there really was no. I like the game plan Keats came up with. I, oh, I it's phenomenal game plan. I think it's very simple. Like if you run it back, they would go. Now we're going to do exactly what we did last time. We're just going to hope to make a few more shots. And that would just um, let me that that would reel everybody back in because I do think DJ Horn had a bit of the I'm going to be a superhero itis, right? I feel like I, he forced some. He got his 20 points, took 21 shots. I don't fault him for that either because there were points in time where I'm like, somebody's going to have to force something. Like yeah. it was, someone's going to have to make a tough shot. Someone's going to have to score six straight. And he recognized that and said, I'm going to be the guy to try. Didn't always convert. But but I think if they just make, I don't know, four or five more shots in the first half, nothing crazy, three or four more shots in the first half, 
That allows everybody to be a little bit more settled. That allows everybody to be a little less forcing, and it allows them to play a different style of basketball. So I think a couple of things on that. The two plays that stood out to me, Mm -hmm. one of them was the three-pointer at the very end of the first half for Purdue. You're looking at a three-point game. Purdue hits a three-pointer. They double their lead at six going into halftime. I thought that was a massive play. But then they got it down to to 49-42. to DJ Horn actually hit a jumper. And they actually got a stop defensively um, on on defense. I think DJ Burns actually got a block. But then then, uh, Purdue actually was able to retain the ball. Bo Diara fouled. They got a couple free throws, and that kind of kicked off that moment of where Purdue started to pull away. I'm like, you got to block all, you got to yep. stop on defense and didn't come up with the ball. Like you mentioned the Casey Morsell, got to stop on mm-hmm. defense, but didn't come up with the ball. It's just a couple small moments here and there, but the O'Connell injury, like you said, it changed everyone's role on the offense. It changed everyone's role and what everyone was asked to do. And they're completely just changed the flow of their offense. This is both a compliment and maybe the, the, the downfall of this team. I think there were seven guys, definitely five, that if any of them got hurt, I think State would have had a really hard time winning that game. Like, obviously, if Burns or Horn goes down, it's like, uh uh-oh. But if if Diara had a hamstring injury, O'Connell, Morsell, uh, Middlebrooks, maybe even Jaden Taylor, if those guys had hamstring injuries and just weren't themselves – it, it's like, you know, the whole you're, you know, everybody all for one and one for all becomes actually a detriment because, the, you know, you know, Purdue, let's be real. As long as, who was it, uh, Lawyer, Smith, and and uh, Edie stay healthy, they're going to have a pretty good idea that they're pretty darn good. For State, it really was like we need all of them. And when O'Connell went down or or partially down, went a went little uh, uh, limpy, right, because he was limping up and down the court, it, it changed everything. Let's hear from Kevin Keats on the ups and downs of the run that they were on. How appropriate, right? The ups, the and, eclipse. The ups and got downs. Uh, Kev, uh, all right, we got it now. Here's Kevin Keats. The way this story was written was unbelievable because we've had, in, in order to win any championships, you got to have highs and lows. We started the season with great highs. In the middle, there were some lows. Um, but equally some highs then and then at the end regular season there were lows but look look what, what this that this team was able to accomplish I, I sit back and I just don't know how you can win nine elimination games all of those nine games we only had one of them that was um, not a double digit when we got in the NCAA tournament there wasn't a double digit win these guys always believed they trusted Ups and downs and, and trust. and I, I really think it was a collection of individuals where all of them were just wildly important. They took one out of that. Not sure they would have survived any of them, right? If, if any one of those guys got hurt, it would have been a tough one for them. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. This next thing I'm going to say, I want to be clear. I'm not going to enjoy saying it. It's not not my... My favorite thing that happened, it's not what I believe is the most entertaining thing that could possibly happen. It's not what I would have chosen if I was some kind of uh, puppet master. I do think the final game in the NCAA tournament is the correct final game in the NCAA tournament. UConn and Purdue feel like the two best teams. Again, not what I wanted for, not not what I wanted, not what I rooted for, but it's, it's... Stinks to say, but you can't really be mad at it. Like as a competitor, as somebody that that you know, I'm always looking to to you know the right person to win the best. These two teams have earned their way into the the final. Tonight's game, Klingon versus Edie, that's gonna be a good time to watch, right? It's kind of like if it couldn't be the teams that I root for, then it might as well be two teams that are that are deserving. You want to know what else is interesting about this matchup for tonight, Purdue versus UConn? Which, by the way, you can hear right here, right? I'm getting the nod. That is correct. Uh, with a long pregame show starting at 6.30. So right after overdrive. Uh, there is some questions from from my camp on why this game has to be so late on a Monday, but uh, but we'll, we'll refrain from asking them right now. Uh, these two teams, you could argue, last year finished first and last in last year's NCAA tournament. 
UConn is the defending champion. They won the whole darn thing in kind of dominant fashion. And and Purdue lost to a 16 seed in the opening round of last year. You could argue, once you get to the round of uh, 64 teams, that UConn a season ago finished first and Purdue finished 64th. And now they're back the next year looking to to battle it out for first and second. There's There's something, I don't know, narrative, storyline, poetic about that. UConn's looking to to really take a step into some rare air, right? You're talking about what is it? What is it? Florida was the last one to do it with Joakim Noah, um, which is a little bit different even than that because one of the things that Florida team had was they had all their guys that could have gone pro elect to stay, and and UConn had a bunch of guys that could have gone pro elect to go pro, and they they re- replaced and replenished, and they're back in the same spot, clinging. Uh, a few others, but Castle's new. Uh, Spencer's new. They've they've got some, they've got something cooking there in, in stores, Connecticut. Maybe for all of our sake, Kentucky should make Hurley an offer he can't refuse. I mean, if Kentucky does that, because John Calipari is leaving for Arkansas, if mm-hmm. Kentucky makes him a massive offer. UConn should be like, all right. <laughs> Add a dollar. <laughs> we'll keep you around. You just won us two national championships. Uh, it's UConn's done it with three coaches, though, in the last 25 years. That they have. Coach isn't the thing. It's the allure of stores. A, yes, of course. I've been there. I'll leave it at that. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9. The Fan. I want to tell you about my friends over at Window Nation. Uh, I've been telling you how awesome Window Nation is. I've been telling you all the ways that they can save you money on your energy bill. I've been telling you all the ways that actually they raise the value of your house and make your house more usable, right? The room that gets hot in the summer that you can never just sit in because it's a boiling. Well, they can fix that with their windows. But don't take it from me. Take it from over 20,000 online positive reviews. It comes with a comprehensive lifetime warranty on the entire window, including glass. Over 1,500 custom vinyl window combinations available. It's it's The proof is in the pudding, right? Trusted by over 200,000 homeowners. 200,000. Give them a call. The number, it's easy to remember. 866-90-NATION. You can get a free, no obligation quote now. They can even do some demonstrations to show you how their windows can help you out. It's 866-90-NATION or visit windownation.com. That's windownation.com to schedule. We're going to take a break. When we come back, today is the first day of the Panthers offseason program. Also, I have something I need to let all of you know about. Uh, Here's your chance to see the storm surge in person. Yes. It's time to qualify for our 10K playoff payout. Right now, be caller number nine, nine, caller number nine to 919-860-5326. That's 919-860-5326. You'll have a shot to win playoff tickets and perhaps a share of $10,000. Call number nine. Caller number nine. Right now at 919-860-5326. Tune in. We'll play the game. We'll do what we have to do when we come back. Or you can listen in tomorrow for another chance to be a part of the 10K playoff payout driven by Carolina Ford dealers uh, for great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Back after this with more. Kevin, Canty, and Michelle are unsportsmanlike. Nine straight elimination games that they've won, and yet they keep going about their business very workmanlike, and they have this childlike enthusiasm when they're doing it. Like, this is a fun basketball team to watch. They're the most fun team to watch in the men's tournament. The way that they play yes. basketball, especially their intensity on the defensive end, I mean, how could you not root for NC State at this point? Mornings from 6 to 9 on 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Now is the time to switch to Spectrum. Get Spectrum Internet, delivering fast and reliable speeds for just $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with Nationwide 5G. Ask how you can get a Visa Rewards card, up to $500 when you add more mobile lines. Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and mobile. Get it all with Spectrum One. Go to Spectrum.com for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Restrictions apply. March match. 
matchups comes down to one more showdown. Then it's time for the NBA playoff race. Hey, it's Victoria Vodnecker here for BetMGM to tell you to go to your BetMGM account today to wager on the college basketball finals. Then you'll instantly receive a bonus bet for the NBA. The tournament has been a wild ride, and college hoop fans in North Carolina have another chance to take a shot at the action. Check out Same Game Parlays, live bets, and so much more. Just make sure to take advantage of this offer before tip-off. Fire up your BetMGM app and place a bet on the college basketball final. Then you'll enjoy a bonus bet for the NBA. As long as there's basketball, BetMGM is going to make every swish sensational. The ball is in your court, North Carolina. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to play responsibly. See BetMGM.com for terms. 21 plus only. North Carolina only. Subject to eligibility requirements, rewards, or non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. The best thing about pollen? It's temporary. Just like the Autobell Car Wash Pollen Pass. Enjoy three months of unlimited car washes. Get your pass today and save at any Autobell. And when the pollen ends, so does your plan. People can tell. We do auto. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. The Postal Service. And Death Cab for Cutie. The Give Up and Transatlanticism 20th Anniversary Tour. Performing each album, The Postal Service and Death Cab for Cutie. Together on one stage for one night only. With special guest, Slow Pulp. Coastal Credit Union Music Park, Saturday, April 27th. Get tickets now at LiveNation.com. Part of the Mattress Warehouse Concert Series. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. A warmer afternoon in store. We'll see highs in the mid-70s under partly cloudy skies. Our southern counties with lots of sunshine. Our northern counties with more cloud cover. So if you're hoping to catch the eclipse at 315, hopefully there'll be a break in the clouds for you. Our temperatures will be in the mid-50s tonight and then back into the mid-70s tomorrow. It'll be partly cloudy with a chance of showers. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit Newcomb and Company. Dot com three o'clock check of your money the Dow Jones today is down ten points to thirty eight thousand eight ninety three market update brought to you by Habitat for Humanity Restore now selling brand new solid wood cabinets wood custom cabinets learn more at TriangleRestores.com. Are you ready to live? Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities.
The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We have caller number nine on the line. It is Nate from Raleigh. Uh, It is his chance to see the storm surge in person. It's time to qualify for our 10K playoff payout. Nate, thank you very much for calling in. Um, We do have a trivia question that you have to answer in order to qualify. Are you uh, prepared for such a question? Yes, I am. Okay, now I warn you, uh, are you a Canes fan? Yes, I am. All right, this is wildly difficult. This is a near impossible question, okay? Okay. Who is the current head coach of the Carolina Hurricanes? That would be Ron Brindamore. Rod Brindamore. Okay. 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 All right, I'm getting the nod. Uh, you, you scared me a little bit there. I, I don't know if I misheard it, but you, you came around on the right answer. Uh, Rod Brindamore, congratulations. You are uh, you are qualified, and, uh, and you will uh, have your chance at the 10K playoff payout. All right, fantastic. Perfect. Stay on the line. I believe there's some info Dennis needs to, uh, to get from you. Uh, in the meantime, all right, everybody, the, these, the, the question was not the most difficult. Don't give me a heart attack next time. Uh, listen. Tomorrow, okay? Everybody out there, listen tomorrow for another chance to be part of the 10K playoff payout driven by your Carolina Ford dealer for great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV. See your Carolina Ford dealer today and tune in tomorrow and be ready to call in uh, and answer a question for your chance at the 10K playoff payout. Now it is time for Football at Four. Let's move the chains. Time for football at four. Today, there's a lot going on today. Today is the first time the Panthers can be together in the same room, in the same deal, in an official capacity since the new coach and GM took over. They're off season beginning today. Four teams today, uh, after a couple last week, kick off their off season programs. The first two-week phase, which is the beginning, is limited to conditioning work and meetings, but that's more than they've had. It's the Dave Canales, Dan Morgan era. The D&D duo, Dungeons and Dragons, really kicks off today. The it, alliance. It, the alignment. Oh, the alignment. Uh, yes, the alignment. It seems like forever ago that the Panthers kind of pulled the trigger on changing everything, but it's been on hold until today. Right, you know what? Every like every single time a Panther had a friend that they hadn't seen in a while, go like, "Hey, how's the new coach?" Do you know what they had to say? I talked to him a few times. Seems like a nice guy. I don't know. Everybody's seen. You know, I've talked to somebody from Tampa. They seem to like him. I don't know. Starting today, they get a real answer to that question. How is he? Oh well, in meetings, he's fill in the blank. Super upbeat. He's kind of mean. He holds us accountable. He doesn't hold us accountable. He's a player's coach. He's 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 in over his head. Whatever the answer is, they actually have one now. How does Dave Canales run a meeting as the head coach, which is different than the coordinator? It's different than being any assistant coach. I learned this one from my dad. My, like I grew up playing every sport, right? My dad was the assistant coach for darn near every sport. You know what's nice about being the assistant coach? Somebody's got a hard question. Someone's got a complaint. Someone's got a question you don't want to ask. Yeah, I don't know. You got to ask him. I'm just the assistant coach, right? As a coordinator, you could be you could be running an offense only meeting. Someone raises their hand, asks a question you don't want to answer. Yeah, I don't know. I'll check with coach on that and get back to you. And nobody looks at you like you're not a hard. You're not a good decision maker. You're not decisive. Everyone goes, all right. He's going to check with coach. Hey, coach, we got a bye week coming up. Are we off till Wednesday? Yeah, I don't know. Let me check with coach. That's fair. That's fair to say. Once you're the head coach, it's I haven't decided yet. Ooh, he hasn't decided yet. The little things. How about this? Have all the demons been exercised from last year? When they walk in, does it feel like more of the same? Does it feel like we were the worst team in the league last year and it's still got that stench in there? Do you know what it was? uh, This is funny about my college career. So – I don't know what this says about my class, but uh, a couple weeks after my senior season ended, our head coach got fired. Um, again, I don't, I don't take it personally. I don't think we had that much to do with it. But uh, 
So he gets fired, and obviously, like, the seniors, your spring semester, right, you play in the fall, you still have access to, like, the weight room or anything. You're still part of the program. I went in there a couple weeks after the head coach got fired. Pictures off the wall were down. Uh, like, the the locker room was stripped bare. It, it was the, the positions where you sat was different. Like, everything was different. The new guy had gone in there and tried to rid uh, him everything of the culture that we built. Wanted to put it in his own culture. Now, I will, looking back, right, you know, the culture we built had got us to the national championship game, won a bunch of games. That coach that replaced everything didn't last very long. But uh, but that that is what's going on right now. This is the first time you can build team culture in the same building. You are in, like, Dennis and I were talking this morning about what we wanted to see. Like, what are they doing even, right? You Two weeks of conditioning and meetings. What can you get done? You aren't installing like your your package of third down plays against man coverage, right? You 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 don't you're not doing that day one. What you are instilling is kind of how you're going to install those later on. You're, what you're installing is the the culture that will help you install those things into the future. This is the first time you can build a team culture. All the way down to, does the coach tell you where you're sitting in team meetings? Or does he let you pick your seats yourself? It sounds stupid, but it matters, right? Do the vets get to sit where they always sat, or is he going to shake things up? You see the the, the um, report card that comes out. The NFLPA puts out the survey, and all the players get to anonymously uh, rank everything right? Facilities, uh, uh, food, training table, uh, training staff, head coaches, coordinators, they get to rank everything. And then you get, you know, A plus, C plus, D minus, B plus. Do, do, do the Panthers try to change those things? If you go in there, do you have different meals? Like all of it matters. And this is the first time you get to really see. And by the way, there's a lot of players that don't know anything other than the, the Panthers, right? They may have seen multiple different coaches, but it's all been under the Panthers. Derek Brown. <laughs> Derek Brown. He's now way more rich, but uh, he got $60 million guaranteed coming his way. But all he, all he knows is Carolina. I actually think Derek Brown is a really interesting case for this. There are not many players that have the seal and stamp of approval of the new regime, right? There are some players that it's like, we're going to keep you because your contract says we can't move on from you. Or even somebody like Deontay Johnson. We traded for you because the price was right. Because we were able to trade a, a sixth, seventh round pick swap and a player we were going to cut anyway to get you into town. That's not a, a rousing you know, confirmation of our belief in you. Derek Brown is one of the few guys this team has said, meaning Dave Canales and Dan Morgan have said, with their chest into the microphone, that's our guy. Does he take on a leadership role? What about Bryce? Does Bryce take on a leadership role, or is he still the young guy that everybody's going to be helping out? It's all about culture. The other thing, and uh, this is a side note, Forbes put out their annual list of rich people. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. They just Forbes likes to look at people's pockets and, and count money. Uh the second richest NFL owner on the list is David Tepper of the Panthers. He is the 94th richest person in the world, worth about 20 Brown. points. Yeah, worth about 20.6 billion with a B. You know those surveys? What? You know those surveys? There's no reason the Panthers shouldn't be straight A's. Oh, practice facility, uh, weight room, uh, what food you're feeding the players. If you're the second richest in the league, there's no reason you're not passing with flying colors. Because guess what? All of that is ways to help your team that's outside the salary cap. You can't go full Yankees, right? You can't even go like the NBA and just get into the luxury tax and keep paying because you have so much darn money. The salary cap is more of a hard cap in, in the NFL. You can't just outspend on the field. But you know what you can do? You can have the best coaches. Mm -hmm. You can have the best play callers. You can have the best training staff, the best strength staff, the best facilities, the best food, the best everything around it. So the players that you can only pay what the salary cap says you can pay 
can have the best support to play well. You're the second richest owner behind only uh, the 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 it's the Walton and family, the Penner and family, uh, the the Walmart people that own the uh, the Broncos. Oh, okay, yeah. They're like seventy billion. I'm really surprised it's not Jerry Jones. Nope, Jerry Jones is most of his money from like I think he's like you know eight nine billion, and the the Cowboys are like six billion of that. Yeah, he does own a lot of Papa John's. David Tepper owns a lot of money. He owns a lot of that too. He has a lot of 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 investments and stocks and twenty point six billion worth. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine the fan. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Underdog Sportsbook. As sports betting, as we know, it's been here for basically a month, four weeks now in the state of North Carolina. This is where Underdog actually comes in to play for you because Underdog Fantasy, or Underdog Sportsbook, I'd say you can't play Underdog Fantasy. When it comes to Underdog Sportsbook, they have everything there that you need. Prop bets, you want your your parlays, you want your your money lines, your, your point spreads, the whole deal. They have it all there for you. Obviously, you got some big time college hoops going on. Got some NHL action already in full swing. You want to get in on that action? You go to Underdog Sportsbook, and that's what makes Underdog so easy to use. Is because their interface, their 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 sportsbook app that they have, it's so simple and easy to follow. You're not going to have a whole bunch of different boxes and stuff all over the place. You're like, I ah, what, what am I even looking at? Where do I go to find the things that I want? They made it super and simple and easy. That's why I love to use Underdog Sportsbook because I know exactly what I'm going to go get. I know exactly where to go to find things, and they make it simple and easy to use. And you can get on the action as well. Download the Underdog Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. Sign up with the promo code Dennis and use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. That's Underdog Sportsbook, promo code Dennis. Must be 21 plus to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply and can be found in the Underdog Sportsbook app. We thought we were going to do this a while ago. NC State won all the way to the Final Four and it pushed it back, but it is finally time to do the podium. Season long, the four ACC men's basketball teams from the state of North Carolina on the season. Who's off the podium? Who are in the bronze medal, the silver medal, the uh, the gold medal? Some predictable, some not. We'll give you all the answers coming up next. Having Canty and Michelle are unsportsmanlike. Nine straight elimination games that they've won, and yet they keep going about their business very workmanlike, and they have this childlike enthusiasm when they're doing it. Like, this is a fun basketball team to watch. They're the most fun team to watch in the men's tournament. The way that they play yes. basketball, especially their intensity on the defensive end, I mean, how could you not root for NC State at this point? Mornings from 6 to 9 on 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Whether you're moving into a new home or sprucing up your outdoor space, get more done with the versatility of the Steel Combi System Multitasking Tool. The Steel KMA ADR Combi Motor is compatible with up to 14 different powerhead attachments, allowing you to trim, edge, cultivate, and more. Right now, save $50 on the battery-powered KMA ADR Combi Motor with AK30 battery, AL101 charger, and line trimmer attachment. Real Steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Offer valid for a limited time only while supplies last. Additional attachments sold separately. See participating dealer for details. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you are tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative 
treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Sheencup. Dr. Sheencup is a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, and publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about some exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime. 919-400-5473. With locations in Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest. 919-400-5473. Are you someone who tries to drive all distracted by your phone? Someone who props it on the steering wheel or peeks down at it for a glance? Or just scrolls and scrolls? If so, you could be the next person to get into a fender bender, get a ticket, veer off the road, or even cause a crash that kills you or someone else. Enough already. Put the phone away or pay. Paid for by NHTSA. What companies would you want to work for? Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. Bank of America is ranked number one in the banking industry and number one for their ongoing commitment to workers, offering best-in-class benefits, including a minimum wage of $25 an hour by 2025. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. And 61 visit staples.com slash print for details. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It's time to do the podium season long, which is an exciting deal, which is a fun deal. Also, it's time for all of you to follow us on uh, social media and including YouTube, 99.9 The Fan. Are we to 10,000 yet? We need 24. We need 24. 24 subscribers away from 10,000, folks. And we're, we're giving stuff away. We're, yeah, we, we have plans, but we need to get to 10,000. Yeah, we're trying so, to give people things. So 24 subscribers away. Please subscribe on YouTube, 99.9 The Fan, and then we can start celebrating. Um, in the meantime, let's do the podium. Uh what we do, for those of you that are new to this, and it's a season long, so I'll give a little bit longer of an intro than I normally do. Um, we take the four teams from North Carolina in the ACC. We name one off the podium, one bronze medal, one silver medal, one gold medal. Traditionally, this is a weekly award, so it's just on the week previous. Uh, we usually say it's not cumulative, so it's not season long. Today, throw that out the window. It is season long. This is who had the gold season who had the silver season the bronze season and who unfortunately is off the podium for the season because we can't give everyone a trophy i don't believe in that uh let's start with off the podium and if you are uh, watching us on youtube thank you for subscribe or please subscribe while you're there or watching this on our live stream you can already see it over my shoulder on our video board let me get the microphones out of the way there we go um off the podium is wake forest this is a, a two-parter, okay? It's it's Yes, it is because they failed to make the NCAA tournament and failed to make a ton of waves in the NIT. But you know what else it is? It is a, a, a knock on their consistency. It's been a while since I got uh, the opportunity to, to make, give my Wake Forest rant. Wake Forest has no business being off the podium. 
Wake Forest starting five and immediate uh, reserves are really good players. The problem is they're really good on Tuesday, not great on Wednesday, back to really good on Thursday, not great again on Friday. It, it was a consistency issue that they never tamed. It was a consistency monster that they never figured out. It got to the point where literally, this is not an exaggeration, on this, this uh, show, I quit them. I said, I'm done. You did. Because so many times they had played well, and I went to bat for them. I said, oh, boy, if they play like that, watch out. They've Oh, that's the, what they were waiting for. Whether it was someone coming off injury, whether it was Efton Reed early in the season becoming eligible, whether it was a hot shooting night from Hunter Salas where I'm like, now they have their go-to. There was so many things that I thought were the magical key that was going to unlock everything, and I would talk a whole bunch of positivity, and then the next game, lay an egg. The next game, wet the bed. The next game, some other an analogy for playing poorly. Lose to a team they shouldn't lose to, get blown out by a team they shouldn't get blown out by. And that was all the way up to the end. Then they beat Duke at home. They beat Duke. The world wanted to say, they're in. And do you know what I said? I'm not falling for it again. <laughs> they have road games coming up. Let's... I, I've been here before. You're right. And then the whole I didn't even bring up the the road game narrative. They only lost one game at home this season. It was a bad one. Georgia Tech. It was after the Duke game. It was. But they could not win on the road any game of note. They, they, they were they're off the podium just because of how frustrated they made us all here. And, and you know, the Boopy Miller is in the transfer portal, one of their contributors. They could bring back a really good – like, I'm not – should I should I reopen like the that should I stop quitting them and see if the same guys because Andrew Carr can come back, uh, Efton Reed can come back, Hunter Salas can come back, um, uh, uh, Hildreth can come back. Should should I unquit them and see if they can't develop consistency over the off season or is this something they won't be able to shake for the rest of their careers? I don't know. I guess we have to wait and see who they bring in as that fifth starter to replace Miller. Could be uh, Friedrichsen. Could ju- they could just roll with with who they have, but I do think they'll play the portal. They're pretty good at playing the portal. They got quite a few like all ACC performers out of the portal the last five years. Oh yeah, Forbes does a pretty good job of getting some high end guys. Yeah, Afton Reed, Hunter Salas, Andrew Carr, <laughs> amongst them. Uh, I think Jake Laravia as well. Uh, yeah, I mean the the last two leading scores in the ACC. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Williams and and the other guy who's escaping me uh that's off the podium let's get to bronze Th- this was the heart silver and bronze was the hardest decision yeah this one was difficult i went duke duke is the bronze now i can hear you duke fans saying duke made it to the elite eight unc made it to the sweet 16 isn't that kind of the goal yes it is kind of the goal but john shire's been in this rivalry long enough he knows how it goes, right? You have to beat UNC. And and I can't get the image of those two games against North Carolina out of my brain, which was, oh, they're better, right? Duke made it further, but those two UNC losses are hard to outrun when you're comparing teams. Now, that's not everything, right? Part of it also is, Second in the, in the uh, ACC regular season. Part of it is one and done in the ACC championship tournament, or the ACC tournament, I should say, not the ACC championship. Um, this Duke team could end up being a blessing in disguise for Duke. Because do you know why? There's a chance. Do you think I, – I don't believe Filipowski's coming back. Do you think there's a chance McCain comes back? slight, low, low, low chance. I mean, the guy's looking at being picked in the first round of the NBA draft. It's kind of hard to turn that down. I, I completely agree. But other than that, like Mitchell, other than that, um, maybe a Sean Stewart, if these guys come back, uh, maybe a Caleb Foster, 
that could be a little bit of the edge that this next recruiting class, which is number one in the country, needs, right? That could be something that this this next recruiting class needs, and they might be coming back due to like unfinished business, didn't have the season they want, all those sorts of things. Uh, so it could end up being some kind of blessing in disguise, but this year's team, the reason why the, the blessing would be in disguise is because it, it left some left some meat on the bone, left some change on the table. Mm-hmm. And it's still a young team. Like, of all, of all the four schools we're talking about here, Duke's the youngest. Easily. Yeah, like, by far the youngest. Silver? UNC. This one's tough. UNC is the, qu- like, quintessential example of how the bar is unbelievably high for certain programs. Because here's what I'm going to uh, say. UNC won the ACC regular season. They were they were the one seed going into the tournament. They made it to the ACC championship game. They made it to the Sweet 16. They had the best shooting guard in the country, national award winner. They had the ACC player of the year, same player, R.J. Davis. And you know what? It still feels kind of wrong putting them at silver. It feels like it's like, well, they didn't have – how? We're going to give them a silver? It's like, listen to all that positive. They had the ACC coach of the year. It still is like, you know what? I think they should have to be better than that to to win a silver because they're North Carolina. It's the unfair part of being UNC. You know what? To to bring this, zoom it out further to a little bit bigger uh, college basketball conversation, this has to be part of the reason why Calipari is leaving Kentucky for Arkansas. (laughs) If you take UNC season this year, that's great for Arkansas. It's rough for Kentucky. It's basically like Kentucky, Carolina, Duke, Kansas maybe. There aren't many programs that can have a season like UNC had and it's not like a banner year. Not literally hanging a banner, but like a, a year that that you want to mimic forever. Carolina was a one seed. There's a lot of good on that team. But they didn't make it to they didn't make it as far as Duke and State. They didn't win the ACC championship. And they had a whatever the the shooting guard is that the Jerry West Award, whatever it is. It is Jerry West the, Award. The, they had a Jerry West Award winner instead of a Naismith Award winner. And for Carolina, it's like, geez, I don't know. That's an unbelievably high bar. We'll definitely get into this later this week about like cons and cons of uh-huh. like the offseason and everything coming up, but that's a big question going into this offseason is does R.J. Davis return? Like You asked me about Jerry McCain over ago, but is R.J. Davis returning? He has a fifth year of eligibility. He can come back if he wants to, just like Armando Baycott did. Set a whole bunch of records if he does. I think Armando... Or extend his records. I was going to say, I think Armando Baycott wants it to happen just so all those old man records get shared, right? So it's like, wait, okay, me and R.J., not just me. Uh, Gold medal, I I think this goes without saying. Uh, NC State. You can't put this year anywhere but gold. I don't. I don't know if that is is. I don't like. It's really one month of great play, month in a couple of weeks of great play that somehow cancels out a season of a little bit more mediocre play. But let's hear from one of their own, DJ Horn, one of the best players for NC State. Uh, here to the media reflects on their run to the Final Four. It's been fun, you know, every step of the way, every win that we've gotten, it's felt like a championship. Um, to see all the joy and the happiness that it's brought, you know, our, our university, our city and everything, how many people got behind us, not just from NC State, but the whole country, it just shows, you know, when you come together and, you know, stick together, you know, what you can do as a team. And uh, I'm just, you know, grateful that I was a part of it all. There's no, there's not much else to be said. There's not much that, you know, we've we've waxed poetic about NC State, but I think it's just fair to say you make a final four no one else does. You win the ACC championship and no one else obviously does. You're going to be the gold medalist for the season long rankings. NC State was not anywhere near the most often weekly award winner, but they're the season long award winner. Can't write it. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Let's transition to the other Final Four. Haven't yet brought up the NC State women. Uh, Again, a season that deserves to be celebrated, a season that deserves to be commemorated, uh, a season that ended in a loss in the Final Four. 
This one's going to, like, South Carolina to me look like the better team. You might say South Carolina is better. South Carolina is a legendary team, undefeated, rolled through everybody. Uh, NC State, the women's team, is the rare team that I think made it like exactly as far as Chalk says they should. They were the best team in their region. They beat the number one seed in their region to go to the Final Four. They ran into a team that is deserving of the the title as the best team in the country. That's the, how brackets work. Eventually, if if things are doing the right thing, you're going to hit that team. Isaiah James, big time player, played well. Sanaya Rivers didn't have her best game, but that second half where South Carolina slowly, methodically built their lead, it felt inevitable. Westmore, the head coach of the Wolfpack, on uh, the challenges that South Carolina gave NC State. Uh, just like I said, just to be able to have such an inside outside game. Uh, you know, there was times, you know, we were trying to maybe double from the weak side on Cordoza or, you know, maybe dig from the ball side and try to get it out of there. But uh, if she, she buries you so deep that, you know, even doubling's hard to do. Buries you so deep that even Dublin's hard to do. Uh, Cardoso and Raven Johnson, it didn't seem like they were going to be be denied. If South Carolina was on the other side of the bracket, maybe NC State can make it to the finals. Maybe they lose to Iowa or UConn. But but it is hard to say South Carolina wouldn't beat you most of the time if you played it 100 times. Right? And... and Sometimes you have to tip your cap, right? There, there are. By the way, and this happened quite a bit in the, in the women's tournament. Sometimes there are games that a controversial call affects things. Maybe a moving screen in a Final Four that maybe there's a team out there that says we would have won if the refs. Maybe there's those things that take place across a bracket. I, I don't know if State had that kind of uh, argument. I don't know if it's we would have won if, right? It wasn't even like uh, we would have won if so-and-so didn't catch fire. Oh, they just got lucky that so-and-so hit a bunch of threes. I don't know if South Carolina made a shot that they don't make often in that entire mm-hmm. game. I always love the end. If they didn't make as many shots, we would have won that game. They, they just got <laughs> lucky. They had a good day. They they got hot. That's fair. I don't even know if South Carolina like got hot from the field. No, they just – they're just that good. Cardoso was was rebounding and putting it back and making off balance shots, and she's six seven, and that's hard to battle. And some of the perimeter players that uh, South Carolina had were controlling the tempo, and they were they were playing good defense, and they made life tough on Sanaya Rivers, and 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 that's kind of what should be rewarded. But I'll stick by this: NC State was the best team in their region, right? Making a Final Four, that's not a fluke either. Sometimes there are a little, like, the, 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 like I'll say, I'll put it like this. Both can be true. State can't really look at that South Carolina game and say we should have won. But I don't think anyone that State beat up till that point can look at that and say we should have won, right? It, it, it seemed like that the women's bracket, and the women's bracket is traditionally more of, of a, like, one seeds and best teams do advance. There's just traditionally less... Uh, upsets like it does feel like the the way that bracket played out is accurate maybe m- m- correct me if i'm wrong on this one but actually both the men's and women's finals the last two feel pretty much like the two best teams in the in the country from from both sides made it maybe you'd say UConn over Iowa because of that ending but but Iowa has been pretty darn good all year South Carolina have been pretty good, darn good all year on the women's side. UConn and Purdue have been pretty darn good all year. They've had their fall-ups. They've had their, their you know, getting upsets. Don't get me wrong. But I hate to say it. It feels like both of these, you know, they kind of feel accurate, which is a fine way to go about it. Some would say the right way to go about it. Dennis, what do you think? Both, bo- all four deserving finalists. Yeah, I mean, I, I was actually looking back. I, I, I need to go back and see when the last time we actually had for men's and women's the same year have one seeds for like all four teams. 
for men's and women's. All, the, like I said, the women do have it more often. It's, but, it's more but, often, but again, well, sometimes men, you might get a two C. The but men, the, you said the last time was the last eclipse, right? 2017. 2017. It was the last time that we had it. it was 2017. So this doesn't happen very often, but I mean, South Carolina, you just look up and down, you're like, you watch them play, you're like, yeah, they're, that team's great. It's just, it's amazing. College, women's college basketball is very top heavy, mm-hmm. it feels like. Like you, you mentioned, it's, it's getting more more diverse it's, and more parity. But it, yes, especially over the last 20, 30 years, it's been very top. Heavy. I mean, you don't often see like you do in the men's in the men's game where you see an eleven seed make a run to the final four. You just don't see it. I think part of it is well, a couple of things. One, players stay longer mm-hmm. in college as opposed to maybe going to professional um, and leaving early. Even though even going overseas, like you see in the men's side, but also. There's just more continuity with rosters, so you're able to build and like have the same players through multiple years to make these runs, like we see South Carolina do, or we saw in LSU got to the Elite Eight uh, this year before losing to Iowa. They're the reigning national champions. I mean, that there's just two SEC schools right there, but that's just kind of something you see more in women's college basketball that continuity with rosters as opposed to the men's game. Sanaya Rivers. Did it get a national championship with South Carolina a couple of years ago? There's now that. she was on the the other hand, which is always a tough spot to be. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine, the fan. The Cane season, home stretch time, crunch time. What do they have to do to get ready for the postseason? We'll talk about it coming up after this. But first, Dennis has something for you. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Lone Pronto. Imagine waking up this time next week and being one hundred percent debt free. I'm talking no credit cards, no car loans, no personal loans. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Here's the thing. Your home value it's way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money out of your home impro- uh, for the for home improvement project. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval. It's just minutes away. Call now 919-381-1760. 919-381-1760 loanpronto.com. Call 919-381-1760 and MLS 1661781 subject to lender approval equal housing lender. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. As I mentioned, the Canes are in the home stretch. It's crunch time. It's postseason prep in its final form. What should they be doing? How can they help themselves? Stick around. To tell you that Keno picks 20 winning numbers, we wrote a winning number of our own. Hit it, boys. You pick up to 10. Keno picks 20. It's easy to play for a whole lot of money. Winning numbers are everywhere with Keno from the North Carolina Education Lot. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds to win a prize range from 1 in 3.86 to 16.63. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Dude Perfect here. Power up with the new smoothie we created with Smoothie King. It's loaded with pineapple, banana, kiwi apple juice, and more. Strong me, boys. Perfect shot. Get the Dude Perfect smoothie only at Smoothie King. Your new Academy Sports and Outdoors store is now open in Nightdale with great brands at the best prices. In here, you'll always find the gear you need to do what you love out there. Get it all at your new Academy Sports and Outdoors store in Nightdale. Adam Gold in studio with my man Sammy Hanna, owner and operator of the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. And the company goes back to 1961. I don't think any of your sales staff was there in 1961, but you guys have been there a long time. It's amazing. Yeah, we don't unfortunately have any salesmen that go back that far, but with our experience levels, it feels like we do sometimes. Mm-hmm. We've got a great sales staff of six currently. Dallas Burrow, Patrick Day, Ryan Monsine, John Alexander, Jeff Hoffman, and Danny Newman, who have hundreds of years of experience in the home improvement industry. Most of our guys are general contractors, so we can get out there and assess your home and develop a plan that works for your home improvement needs. I know Danny helped me back in 1999, so he's been there for at least 25 years. Incredible stuff. Yeah, and you say 1999 like it's yesterday, but 1999 was 25 years ago. It feels like yesterday. (laughs) You guys did great work. Aluminum Company of North Carolina. They'll treat you like family. On Hamlin Road in Durham, aluminumcompany.com. What companies would you want to work for? Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. 
Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. Bank of America is ranked number one in the banking industry and number one for their ongoing commitment to workers, offering best-in-class benefits, including a minimum wage of $25 an hour by 2025. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. Are you struggling to get a good night's sleep? Look no further than Parkway Sleep. For 20 years, we have been your locally owned and operated sleep center. I'm Brandon Giggling, president of Parkway Sleep Health Centers. Did you know that people are waiting a staggering six to eight months for a sleep study at other sleep labs? At Parkway, we understand the importance of your sleep needs. That's why we offer openings within weeks, not months, saving you time. Don't let sleepless nights take over your life. Visit us today at parkwaysleep.com. Parkway Sleep Health Centers. Sound sleep, sound health. The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. Now you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code TIMD, T-I-M-D, no spaces, and bet $5, they'll receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD and bet $5 to get $200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Tim D. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8 577 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The Canes have four road games to get it together. It's crunch time. They're measured by the postseason, four games, all on the road. Then the postseason gets started, and we know that they will be starting at home. I like the placement of four straight road games to end the season. It's kind of like a training camp, right? It's kind of like going away for a final tune-up. I don't hate this move at all. I think if you were in a a race where you needed to win like three or last four to make the postseason, I think you'd be a little upset about it. But You'd want that energy behind you. But I kind of like get away from the home distractions, get away from, uh, you know, the the responsibilities you have at home. This is the final week of rehearsal before you go live. Right? Nothing matters except for the stuff that contributes to the postseason. Go on the road. Go on a quote-unquote business trip. Right? Figure it out. Get your players playing absolutely as well as they possibly can. Uh, and I think a good sign was was Andrei Svechnikov getting a quick goal to start a game uh, after, after missing a game because he's somebody. Do I think the Canes are very good even if he's not playing his best? Yes. Do I think they could probably win the first, maybe the second round without Andrei Svechnikov playing his best? Sure. I think to win a Stanley Cup, you're going to need one of your most talented players to start playing like he's capable of playing, and and that's where this next four games can come into play. Here's Rod Brindamore on on Svech's confidence kind of growing throughout the most recent game. I mean, I thought he was good. He's he's played well. I just we were just you know you wanted to be that what he did tonight have a difference in the game in a positive manner. He certainly did. I want him to impact the game in a positive manner. I want him to put people into the boards and score goals. Like I, I don't I don't want it to just be like, oh, he had a general, you know, positive impact on the game. I want him to be one of the highest paid players on the roster. And and he's in an interesting position because the top line is what the top line is. And that is really good. Right? Gensel, Aho, Jarvis, I don't think you mess with it. Uh, I don't know why you would. It's 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 really good. Svetch playing at an elite level on one of the other three lines just gives you like a that's that second punch, right? That's that, oh, you guys are having an off day, we'll pick you up. That gives you another elite option. So it is important to get Svetch rolling. It is infor- important to find out who he's playing best with right now. In a lot of ways, it's important to figure out um, there's a lot of versatility on all these lineups. 
all these these lines, I should say, mm-hmm. there's a lot of like, oh, you know what? Kuzi can play with anybody. Oh, you know what? Svetch can fit in where he fits in. Oh, you know what? All of these guys, they have such high hockey IQs that they can, you know, you can mix them up. You can mix and shuffle, which is nice. Don't get me wrong. I like high IQ hockey players. But at the same time, you know, you you want a home base, right? You, you want to know, like, hey, us three are playing alongside each other, barring something happening, borrowing uh, Rod thinking he needs to shake things up. I think that can be what these next four games are for. On the road, playing different games, figuring out who plays alongside who to start the postseason. Where would you play uh, Svetch? I, I, uh, are you throwing him with the old guys? You talking about Martin Hook and Stahl? Yep. Probably. Am I, I? I, yeah, I, in all honesty, because Stahl and Martin Hook are so good defensively mm. that you can make up for some of the deficiencies that Andre has. Because we've seen... And even the advanced numbers show it. When Svechnikov is skating alongside Kuznetsov and Natchez defensively, not very good. They give up a ton of scoring chances. They that, really that becomes do. a real roller coaster of a line, it, which is like either they're going to score two goals or they're they going to give up three. Yeah, yeah they're exactly. Give up four. It's too much of a liability. There's too much volatility there, as they like to say. But when you have Tevo Teravainen alongside Natchez and, and Kuznetsov, things are like even. Because Teravainen is good defensively. So things like level out in terms of sca- chances for and chances against. When Svechnikov is with Stahl and with Martinuk, obviously those two guys are so good defensively alongside Svechnikov that it allows him to be a little bit more open. There's also the possibility if you need to have a lockdown line that you put Jesper Foss with Stahl and Martinuk and then Svechnikov skates alongside Nation and Drury and they that quote-unquote air quotes fourth line that we like to say, are going to match up against other teams' fourth lines. And guess what? Svech should feast on that. But you can also double switch, uh, double shift Svechnikov. <laughs> um, make sure I didn't Sally break any sells rules there. seashells. By the seashore. But, if, if, for example, you can always double shift him. If in the offensive zone it's the stall line, like mm-hmm. it's stall with Martin Hook and Faust, you could put Svechnikov out there on the ice in place of Jesper Faust. Or... Depending on the situation, obviously he's going to get a ton of power play time. You can find ways to give him extra minutes. So there's a little bit of flexibility when it comes to their lineup. But right now, what I say doesn't work, it's Svechnikov, Kuznetsov, and Nate just because of their defensive liability. So so if I'm hearing this right, and I'm yeah. trying to do math, you know, imagine the, the depth chart in, in my brain. Uh, Faust, Drury, Nason? As of right now, yes. Basically the lineup we saw yesterday. I Which... which wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I think the yesterday slash starting tomorrow. I do think it's time to you, you play them and and you you just play them. You know what I mean? You don't the shuffling and everything is nice and it's nice to know you can. But I, I want everybody in rhythm. I want everybody with the nonverbal mm-hmm. communication going into the postseason. So if I'm Rod, I'm picking the four lines that I like, right? And and maybe as you're saying you can shift like within a game a little bit here if you want to uh you know just get them used to hey Svetch, you might be playing some shifts with with these guys but other than that i want the four lines that i'm going to roll out there the first night of the postseason mm-hmm. to be playing with each other for the next four games uh until you you know give guys a night off if they're they're older and their legs are tired whatever uh you can always throw kokaniemi back in the 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 lineup for a night but i do think it's time to, you know, decide who you're going with and decide who they're playing with. And, and it, it, it's it's time to start ironing out the wrinkles, right? Call in the lines. Say, hey, this the, you comfortable with these two? All right. That's, that's, that's how you're going to help us win a cup is alongside these two individuals, uh, you know, for the, the meat and potatoes of a game. Are we going to call on you, right, the power play? And we're going to call on you for specific situations? We might want to, you know, get our grinders out there. Sure. But for the meat and potatoes, for the main course, this is what we're looking at. Look to your left and your right. Get real comfortable with those guys because it's going to be high leverage ice time and you're going to be playing with them. The only thing that's really solid right now, in my opinion, that right. top line. I was going to say two things. Oh, yeah, the two things. That top line and your defensive pairs. Three things. Three, oh, then Freddie. Yep, there you and go. Freddie in that. <laughs> uh, Fre- Freddie right now, but, you know, if, if Kochekov has to step in and be your guy because something happens with Freddie, I have complete confidence in him. But 
your six defensemen, who they're paired with, lock it. Aho, Gensel, Jarvis, lock it. Everything else, there's still a lot to figure out. Even your power play units, which we still got to figure out. And and this is what I was talking about. The versatility mm-hmm. is awesome. It's great. But at some point, you do have to make a decision, right? Because I think you can tinker to death, mm-hmm. right? It's it's I, like I remember this as a kid. I'm not a very good uh, uh, artist, but I do remember getting to a point where like I drew a picture in art class and I like it. But then it's like, all right, I'm just keep shading. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna color it, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep keep uh, shading, and sh- and then all of a sudden it, it looks like like trash. And I'm like, yeah. man, I wish I would have known like it was done right, and just moved on and and let it you know go start something else. I don't want because it's like you know we could play, it could play Nason here. Oh yeah, you know what, Jury's we could we could move Jury here, and and eventually going like no, just pick who they're gonna be, and then let them get used to it mm-hmm. rather than all right yeah the versatility is nice oh the the change is nice it's so great that they can all play with each other and then it's so great that they can all get along and they have high IQs and it's like that's great to know pick who you, whoever you think is best and guess what it may be 6 to 1 half dozen to the other it may be like Svech could play here or he could play there and they're both going to be good options just pick one and go with it be done stop tinkering and get it ready for the postseason that versatility needs to become continuity it, exactly and and the versatility stays in your back pocket mm-hmm. because then in a postseason if it's like geez this line isn't getting it done feel free, switch it. feel free to mix it up but but you want that that line to have the best possible chance to get it done you you don't, don't want to tinker until You've over-tinkered. Nobody wants to be an over-tinkerer. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Uh, I want to tell you about my friends over at Capital Financial, and, of course, that means my friend Coach Pete. Uh, let's give Coach Pete a little, bit of, uh, a, a little bit of a resume, right? He has been in the financial arena for over 31 years. Capital Financial Advisory Group is a 100% independent and conflict-free fiduciary planning firm located right here in the Triangle. If you're all about supporting local, which I think a lot of people are, you can rest assured that Capital Financial is right here in the Triangle. You can find them online at CapitalFinancialUSA.com, but they're right here in the Triangle. Coach Pete and his team are fiduciaries. That means they put your needs ahead of theirs. That's what you want when you're planning for your retirement, somebody that's putting your needs ahead of theirs lining your pockets, making sure your income is good through retirement before worrying about theirs. Coach Pete is also a best-selling author of six finance books, and he'll give you a copy of his new book for free when you reach out and let them know we sent you. So call 800-691-3215. That's 800-691-3215. Or text TIM to 600-700. Again, make sure they know we sent you when you call. 800-691-3215. Let them know TIM, The Drive, 99.9 The Fan, any of it. They'll know what you mean. Or text TIM to 600-700. Get taken care of by everyone out there at Capital Financial Advisory Group. It's time for the starting five, including a recap of two final fours, uh, a, a job that is shaking the college basketball world and more. Stick around. on the madness. But unfortunately, the pack's journey ends here in Phoenix tonight, and so does one of the most memorable seasons in recent NC State basketball history. The inbound to Ross, and UConn can see history. One win away from a repeat national championship. College basketball tournament action on 99.9 The Fan is powered by Wake Med, RoofWorks, and Wilkinson Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC in Sanford. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. And you know, we're constantly looking for ways to serve you better. One of the ways we do that is with something we call a go-see. And that's where you select a vehicle from our inventory, and we have thousands, and we get one of our product specialists to bring that vehicle to you at your convenience. How do we do that? Well, it's simple. We have a group of employees that are evaluated based on the number of presentations they do. They're glad to do it. So it's just one more way we get off our keister and bring Heaster to you. It's bow time. Something new just dropped at Bojangles. 
Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bose Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bose Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a seasoned to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just $5 or a two bird dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe that every sport should be epic. Every home run, every hit, every inning, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a walk-off grand slam or a base hit to center field, whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. 21 plus only must be physically located in North Carolina. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. In Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest, 919-400-5473. Are you someone who tries to drive all distracted by your phone? Someone who props it on the steering wheel or peeks down at it for a glance or just scrolls and scrolls? If so, you could be the next person to get into a fender bender, get a ticket, veer off the road or even cause a crash that kills you or someone else. Enough already. Put the phone away or pay. Paid for. By Making dinner, trimming your hair, mowing the lawn. Sure, you can do it all yourself, but why? At AutoBell Car Wash, our team cleans your whole car from the inside out in 15 minutes or less. We do the work so you don't have to. People can tell we do Auto Bell. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm WRL meteorologist Mike Mays. We had bright skies for the viewing of the partial solar eclipse this afternoon. Tonight, the clouds will increase, becoming partly cloudy, 55 the low. Tomorrow is mostly cloudy. We do have the chance for some light rain in the afternoon, 76. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Five o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones down 11 points to 38,892. Market update brought to you by Train Heating and Cooling Systems. Get a great deal this spring on a new train heating and cooling system. Train systems are engineered to keep up with you. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer and learn more. It's hard to stop a train. Five o'clock. Time to serve up the biggest sports stories of the day. Here comes your starting five. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Let's give some flowers, shall we? That's what the kids are saying, right? When you're showing appreciation for someone that, that did something uh, great and, and maybe doing that before, you know, the, the retirement ceremonies or something like that. Uh, let's give our flowers to the NC State women making it to a Final Four. 
I think in a lot of ways they would have gotten more shine if they happened to not do it in the same year that their their men's team went for the first time in 41 years. But the, the shine that they received deserve it. Is this our number five? This is our number five. See, I'm out, I'm out of practice. It's Monday. The Eclipse messed with me. Oh, uh, it's the Eclipse. So blame the Eclipse, huh? Blame nature. You only get one day to do it for the next 20-some-odd years. You only get one day to blame the Eclipse. I blame the Eclipse. Every 86 years, I blame Haley's Comet. You want to know something crazy about the women's basketball tournament? What's that? This just uh, released by Joe Pompliano, who is uh, a great follow on Twitter, by the way. He covers the business side of sports. Um, the Iowa-South Carolina National Championship game. That, that music came to an abrupt halt. I feel like I got to give like I a, know. I'm like I'm waiting for like. 18.7 million viewers. The Iowa-South Carolina National Championship game. 18 point seven uh, according to Pompliano that makes it the most watched basketball game men's or women's college or professional in five years damn that's the women's basketball national championship more viewers than any men's or women's college or professional basketball game in five years Good on them. Good on them. Well, this is a couple things. You have great teams. Yep. And you have compelling stars. Yep. Simple sometimes I was going to say, sometimes the formula is easy. And the stars were promoted properly. Yes. There was. And by the way, that doesn't mean everyone likes Caitlin Clark. Right? That doesn't mean everyone likes uh, the Cardoso or Don Staley or whoever you think is the star from South Carolina. It just means that they are appropriately visible. Right? Uh, a lot of people were getting getting mad at um, uh, Diana Taurasi and Sue Bird for some of their comments on on Caitlin Clark and how she might do in the WNBA, and they actually happened during the the Final Four round against UConn. And and my thought is, people are mad at something that was said about a women's basketball player in college. That now you're getting to the point of of the men's sports that have been more successful as far as drawing eyeballs for a long time. You need haters. You do. You know what? I actually think uh, Tiger Woods is going to play in the Masters this week. Um, every time Tiger Woods takes an extended stand, uh, extended absence from golf, there's this void. And and what I think is, what I think happens is right now golf doesn't have the villains. All the villains left for live. So the PGA Tour is just a bunch of guys you kind of want to root for. It's like, oh, Ricky. Yeah, I'd really like to see Ricky Fowler win. Rory, I'd really like to see Rory win. So I'd really like to see so and so win. Like just everybody you speak, sure, he seems likable enough. And and it's and it's the thing is you need people to you need controversy, you need friction. Caitlin Clark is unreal. The, the logo threes, unreal. But you kind of needed South Carolina to be better than them. Right? You needed somebody saying she's not all that. You need someone saying she's not going to be able to do that in the WNBA. Do you, do you know why? Because now you're going to watch. Now you're going to be like, ooh, Diana Taurasi is playing against Caitlin Clark on Wednesday night in a WNBA regular season game. Remember what Diana Taurasi said during the Final Four? Let's tune in. Like, that's all good for the sport. And, and by the way, Westmore and NC State... They were a part of the most watched women's Final Four in the history of the game. Not just that, like, the entire weekend was the most watched women's basketball weekend in the history of the sport. We talk about the men taking advantage of the moment. We talk about Kevin Keats hitting the portal. Wes Moore, do the same, maybe even more. More people watched your team play than... Darn near any women's basketball team in the history of the world. This past weekend in your game against South Carolina. Were some of them just tuned in early for UConn, Iowa? Yeah, but take advantage of it. You're still there. You're, yeah. Eyeballs are eyeballs. I don't I don't care why people tune into this show. <laughs> as long as they're tuned in. Here's Wes Moore on the challenge that South Carolina gave them in the Final Four. Uh, just like I said, just to be able to 
have such an inside-outside game. Uh, you know, there was times, you know, we were trying to maybe double from the weak side on Cordoza or, you know, maybe dig from the ball side and try to get it out of there. But uh, if she, she buries you so deep that, you know, even doubling's hard to do. Credit where it's due, South Carolina was really good. The inside outside presence, whatever you want, like the 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 fact is they had good players at you know every level. Inside, outside, mid range, ball handler, off ball. Give them their credit. But give NC State credit their their due as well. Give them their flowers. That's number five. Let's get to number four in the starting five. We are the four horsemen. Woo! John Calipari. Cannot say I saw this coming. I don't think anyone did. The reports are out there leaving Kentucky for Arkansas? Doesn't make sense. There's – this is one where you have to try to put yourself in their shoes because from where I'm sitting, it, Kentucky is one of, if not the best job in college sports. It's, well, it's up there. I think there's a couple in, in the triangle that would like to argue with that statement. Probably. But but that's a pretty good job. Pretty good resources. Probably enjoy the private jet. Probably enjoy the 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 alumni base. Probably enjoy <laughs> so much of the the blue blood nature of Kentucky. There's plenty of NIL money to go around. That's actually one of the things that I. There has to be, right? And I'm trying to put myself in John Calipari's shoes. Why would he want to leave Kentucky for Arkansas? Uh, this is all inference, right? This is all me trying to guess. One of them, Arkansas came with the the bleep you money of how much he's going to be able to spend in NIL. Yeah. If they just showed up and said, hey, listen, how much is Kentucky? What's your budget? All that Walmart money. Let's let's double it, right? <laughs> like like they they somehow they fundraised, somehow they have a rich booster, somehow, some way, Arkansas, big money, maybe. The other is maybe because they had this end of the year meeting, Kentucky and Calipari on his job. Maybe the long term job security wasn't there. Maybe it was, let's give you another year if you xyz then we'll be comfortable with moving and and maybe he was like "Ooh, don't love the way that sounds <laughs> right um i want you, <laughs> i once ready this is before i got into on air i was trying to break into the radio business so i took a sales job i uh was not the best salesman in the world uh, also was spending most of my free time trying to break into the on-air portion of the station, which is not what businesses love their salespeople to be doing, uh, right? At, like the the people that sell Apple computers are not going like, you know who had the perfect idea for the next development in the iPad? Joe in sales. Yeah. Like, it's just not how it works, right? So I was constantly, whatever. I had my boss call me in and go, so have you been looking for any other jobs? And I was going like, what do you mean? We love you. Great around the office. Just wondering if you've been on any message boards looking for any other jobs. I'm like, oh, message received, buddy. I'm going to start looking on message boards for other jobs uh, because you're not happy with what I'm doing. And to be honest with you, I, I don't. I want to be doing something else too. Maybe they had that kind of nonverbal communication with, with Calipari. Have you heard from anyone else? We love you here. We're going to keep you because your buyout is ridiculous. But... Uh, but have you looked? <laughs> and it's like loud and clear. I'll, I'll make some calls. I don't know. I can't explain it. Arkansas, or how about this? This is the last last theory I'll throw out there. And again, just theories. Maybe he wants a little uh, break from the pressure. Yeah, I think that's it. Honestly, I think that is it. Because we, we talked about this. We talked about this earlier. Like UNC and Duke. This, this year had two seasons that most schools would be wildly pleased with. A Sweet 16, a regular season ACC championship oh. for, for UNC, uh, shooting guard of the year, ACC player of the year, coach of the year in the ACC. That's UNC season. Duke made it to an Elite Eight, second in their conference, right, as far as regular season goes. Those two seasons for most schools are wildly successful. For those two schools, there's probably some like, how are we going to make sure that doesn't happen again next year? Yeah, like Clemson went to the Elite Eight. For yeah. them, like, awesome. This is sweet. Yep. For 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 
Kentucky, it's similar, right? Yeah. You're telling me you've been coaching for 15 years and you only have one national championship? How dare. How are we going to fix this, John? How dare. And, and, and like, there are schools out there like, we'll take one for the next 50 years. Call yeah. it a day. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're talking and other Final Fours and national championship appearances? Look at the team that just won our run, like NC State. Yeah. Like, if, if you want to give us a national championship 15 years ago? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh and, and first rounders every year and things to get excited about every year? Maybe Calipari is just like, I want to go to Arkansas where an Elite Eight is appreciated. <laughs> I want to go to Arkansas well, where a conference championship appearance is celebrated. Well, he's got to actually get out of the first round of the NCAA, so there's that. Hey, there are schools where making the NCAA tournament is a Super Bowl. Although I don't think Arkansas is that, that down bad. Uh, that's number four. Let's get to number three. One, two, three. Carolina Hurricanes won twice over the weekend. Four games left until the postseason. I, am I the only one that's just, like, itching for the postseason? Start mm-hmm. it tomorrow, right? <laughs> Tell me who you're playing. Tell me when it is. Let's start playing games that that mean something. So we're getting word the weekend of the 20th and 21st, that Saturday, Sunday is when yep. the NHL playoffs will begin. Now, what day the Carolina Hurricanes will play? To be determined. Tell me when. Inject that into my veins. I know. I'm I, I'm basically from about a week after the trade deadline. As soon as we saw Gensel in there playing well, as soon as we saw Kuzi settle in and kind of have his his role in the team established, I've been ready for the postseason. <laughs> Starting about a week after the trade deadline, I was like, "Good, got the guys I want, got the things we need. Freddie's back. Let's let's line them up and play real hockey." Now, obviously, you don't get just to make that decision or else every team, as soon as they go on like a four-game winning streak, would be like, start the postseason now. We're vibing. Uh, but, but I mean, there's there's very, like, obviously, we're going to talk about it and we're going to break down every game and they play tomorrow and they still have some, some seeding and things that they can fight for, some home ice that they can fight for. Still little things like that. But for the most part, the hay is in the barn, right? For the most part, the work is done. You have your guys. You have your roles. Who plays them the best? I think I, I've said this before. I'll say it again. It's cup or bust, right? It's win the whole darn thing, or go back to the drawing board with with you know shaking things up as your 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 goal. We I, we were actually just discussing this because of the eclipse. <laughs> Ironically, uh, the eclipse was in 2017. Uh, Rod Brindamore had yet to be named the the head coach. I saw another year of Bill Peters. <laughs> Just to bring back good memories. Yeah. But, uh, like, we, actually, you know what? I'm going to mix the last two things we talked about, the Kentucky pressure and the Canes. Uh, if you go back to the first of the six straight postseason runs that the Canes have been on, that they made it to the postseason six straight times, the first time, what was it, the last – was it was it actually the last day of the season? Oh, uh, it was the next to last game. It was game next 81. Next to last game. Game, game 81. 81. And people are hugging in the, the, the crowd, oh. like clinching a spot. It was it was emotional. So we get the Pete Mrazic. We did it. We're in. Yeah. Ex- yes. <laughs> exactly. Um, like those days are gone for the Canes, right? Making the postseason is expected. It is the the bare minimum. Now, if you, if you want to get – do it again. Give us the impression one more time. We're in. We did it. Yes. If you want to get that level of emotion, guess what you have to do? I'd say win the East, maybe. Win the Cup, definitely. Like win the East in like a like a overtime, maybe will will give you the 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 vibe. But it's it's truly that's how high the expectations are now. It is truly that's how high the expectations are now. The the good news is. I do believe you know who your goalie is. I do believe it is no longer a debate. Freddie is the guy based on how he's played. Three shutouts in his last seven games. The statistics since he's come back from the blood clotting issue have been uh, pretty dominant. Uh, let's hear from Rod Brindamore on, on Freddie. I mean, he did have make some saves, obviously. We had a bunch of almost, you know, they didn't convert on. But he, he's just, like you said, I think uh, he's been real solid since he's come back. And... He studies it like he's just very uh, calm back there, and I think that certainly helps. 
Credit to Freddie. He's played well since he came back. I thought there'd be more rust. There really hasn't been. Eight and one and nine starts. Eight and one. Same percentage of over 95%. A goals against of 1.22. And like you said, three shutouts. Fresh legs. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> Doesn't hurt at all. That's number three. Let's get to number two. Just the two of us. UConn versus Purdue tonight. Dennis, I have to I have to go back on something that I, I said earlier today. Oh, okay. So you brought up that there's a bit of a quandary between UConn and Purdue. Like, who should we be rooting for? Yeah. Now, traditionally, I look at everything from an ACC lens, right? Like, what's best for the ACC? That's what I'm – that was my so, question. So paint your quandary. Paint your, your rock in a hard place. All right, so we've talked about how the ACC has been – just even go back to 2015. Mm-hmm. How the ACC has the most Final Fours of any conference, now nine – Big Ten has five, I believe. ACC has three national championships. Big East also has three national championships. Now, if they win today, they being UConn, that would be four. Two for UConn, two for Villanova during that stretch. So, we talk about the ACC being the best conference. Like, well, you can sit there and say, well, the Big East has more national championships. I have no, I have no beef with the Big East I don't at really all. have a beef with the Big East either. I love I Big East basketball. I think they actually get similar negative vibes to the ACC because they it's like, you're not as good at football. It's like, we're talking basketball. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> basketball here. Exactly. And Big East only had three schools yep. actually make it to the NCAA tournament this year. Now, they all were a one, two, or three C, but nonetheless. Um, but we also look at the Big Ten. Everyone loves Big like, – so many people rave about Big Ten basketball. They haven't won a national championship since 2000 when Michigan State did it. So I'm like, I don't know if I want the Big Ten to win a national championship because – because they get Let the benefit stay. of of all the hype, and they they yeah. haven't really earned it. So exactly. So my first thought, and I said this to Dennis off air, was I don't have a beef with the Big East. Let, I don't. let UConn win. Yeah. Like I, I'm not going to root again. Like I'm Team UConn, but uh, I've done some more research. Oh, and it's not really difficult research. Anyone like it's not like I did mm-hmm. math or anything. Uh, although uh, maybe basic math. If UConn wins, they match UNC in titles. And they pass Duke. Oh, okay. I don't think that would I, give him six, right? That would give him six in the last twenty six years, something Since like that. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. So twenty five years, whatever that ends up that's, being. That's. A- I I'm. You start to get to the point where it's hard to keep UConn below some teams that I think they should be below. Yeah. So now I'm I'm like, can we root for a tie? That's not that's not sporting. That's no, not that's not good sportsmanship. Not. I don't want to give the Big Ten something they can hang their hat on because then next year the Big Ten's gonna get how many teams are in the Big Ten next year? Eighteen, something like that. Something like They're that. They're gonna get sixteen in the tournament and, and the ACC's gonna get two because Purdue won last year and it'll be like a whole thing. Uh I don't want that to happen. But also I mean, UConn more titles than Duke. The same amount as North Carolina? That doesn't sound right either. No. I hate it. I, don't, I hate I don't. all of this. And the worst part is I do think they're the two best teams in the tournament this they, year. They 100% so, are. So <laughs> it's, it's like, all right, they do, they do they deserve it? Yeah. But do I want to give it to them? No. Absolutely not. No, I don't. This is the like my, my three-year-old's logic, right? You have two. Do you have two scoops of ice cream? Yes. There are two of us, right? Yes. Can I have one? Nope. <laughs> like it's it's it all adds up to being yeah, but I don't want to do it. I'm just gonna throw a tantrum. You know what needs to happen? What's that? ACC needs to win the national championship next year. Yeah, they do. I don't care who. In the year after. I don't care who. Somebody. Somebody. I want all three triangle schools to win the next three national championships. In what order? Doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get you in. No, it doesn't matter. His his Twitter handle is at the fan rookie. Exactly. And they can all be in the final four all three years. That's I'm hundred percent okay with that too. That'd be awesome. That's number two. Speaking of an ACC team and a triangle team in the final four, let's get to number one. The one NC State run came to an end in the final four, a loss to Purdue. DJ Burns, the big fella, had this to say about the experience. Man, just to be a part of this has been everything I could have asked for, man. Um, didn't go the way we wanted to go out, but, man, this has been an experience like no other. It's something, you know, that I've wanted my whole life, 
and to be able to do it with the group of people that we have is just amazing, man. And um, the city, we're just glad we could bring the culture back to Raleigh and um, bring it back for state fans, man. They've been waiting for a long time, and I hope we give them something to, you know, build off of next year. It does, like, it, it, here's the way I'm going to say it. I hope, and this is why, right, because it does come to an end. And by the way, all of the runs come to an end, aside from one team. I do hope they had the moments where they, like, looked around. I call them senior day moments, right? The, the, the only time in your college career you really think to, like, do the 360 where you just stand like on the field or on the court and just do a complete rotation and look at how cool what you get to do is, is usually on senior night, right? That's the only time you like you wave to the crowd and kind of thank them and go, this whole thing is cool. But then when your career is over, you really wish in your coolest moments that you did, right? The packed house, the crowd chanting your name, you're, you're jogging out of the tunnel, the, 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 I mean, in DJ Burns' case, literally the world being captivated by your play. I just hope he he took a minute, right? Not ten minutes, because you you want him to be locked in and give himself the best chance to to win. But I do hope he took a minute at each step along the way and just kind of looked around and went, "Holy cow!" Right? Like there are not many. And by the way, he's going to be able to do it for the rest of his life. If he shows up at PNC Arena and they put him on the jumbotron. Big ovation! Oh, you should sound the siren for the for the playoff oh, opener. Absolutely, uh, like like he's he's gonna have some applauses in his future that he's already earned. And and guess who else has Mo Diara? Guess who else has DJ Horn? Guess who? Like all of these guys, and I could just list the team, but I won't do that. Um, they accomplished something pretty darn cool. And and you know certain maniacal workers. The Kobe Bryant Mamba system people out there are like, you know, at some point when my career is over, I'll look back. Vince Carter is having this moment going into the the Basketball Hall of Fame where, you know, he's going to look back and probably watch some highlights and go, you know who was the best dunker of all time? This guy. Like, like you're going to have those moments, but it's – you want to remember them in the moment too. The NC State run that they've been on the last month and a half is not normal. And if you want to hate on that, Go ahead, right? If if you're a UNC fan and you want to point out that you know they were bad during the regular season, if you're a Duke fan and you want to point out we've been to more Final Fours, go ahead. Like you can you can do that. You can have that energy, but you have to acknowledge it's got to be fun for the people in it, right? You have to acknowledge it's got to be fun for the fans that are in the mix. There, there are NC State fans that have suffered for a long time to enjoy this month, and it probably makes it sweeter. We had a caller earlier today that said he <laughs> he was like in a ceremonial fashion with his son burning Cubs hats because NC State was on a run. That's fan logic that you can only get from a true fan. <laughs> NC State was on a run, so what'd you do? I burnt my Cubs baseball hat. It was cathartic. Let me do me. That is stuff that only fans can come up with a reason for. I love fandom so much. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We do have a numbers game coming up here. Uh, Dennis, what are we giving away? We are giving away a pair of tickets. Every, Every America's favorite car show returns oh, to Tar Heel State with a hot riding event you don't want to miss. A pair of tickets to the good guys, 9th Griot's Garage, North Carolina Nationals at the NC State Fairgrounds, April 19th through the 21st. If you want to win those tickets, you got to play the game. If you want to play the game, you got to call in right now. 919-860-5326. That's 919-860-5326 for the numbers game. Next. You're always close to the Canes with 99.9 The Fan. 47 seconds left in overtime. Jarvis now with speed. Drop for inches. He scores! Inches in overtime, and the Canes win it 3-2. Count on us to bring you every Canes game night and the latest Canes news from insider Adam Gold. Your official home for the Carolina Hurricanes. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Hey, hey, what do you say? John Forsland here for my friends at Buffalo Brothers. I live and work on both coasts, travel the country. Here's the deal. There's nothing like Buffalo Brothers, the best wings on the planet, and a great place to watch all the big games. 
Visit all five triangle locations for great specials like half-priced appetizers Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 6, and $6 Jamesons on Sunday. Dine in, carry out, buffbrothers.com. Oh, man, now I want wings. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I can get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I can win up to two million dollars in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Hey, homeowners. This is Keith Gregory with Home Exteriors by Baker Roofing. We have a lot of new neighbors moving to our area, and as a company that was founded in Raleigh in 1915, we would like to formally welcome you home. Our history of excellence is best summed up in our commitment. We shall do good work at a profit if we can, at a loss if we must, but always good work. To learn more about our roofing, siding, window, door, and gutter services, visit bakerroofing.com. The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Download the Caesars Sportsbook app today using code NEWNCBG. Then place your first bet of $5 or more. Win or lose, you'll receive $150 in bonus bets. Open to new users in North Carolina who are 21 or older. Terms and conditions apply. See Caesars.com backslash promos or the promos tab in the app for full terms. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagamenc.gov. Tribal Casino Gaming Enterprise is a licensed operator by the North Carolina State Lottery Committee. It's truck month at your local Ram dealer, and now's the time to get great deals on our award-winning lineup of trucks. At Ram, all we do is trucks. Maybe that's why Ram is the most awarded light-duty and heavy-duty truck brand over the last five years. Ram trucks feature innovative technology and uncompromised power and dependability that give you the power to strengthen your truck game. Go to Ram.com for great deals and hurry in for the best selection of trucks during Ram Truck Month. Based on total full-size pickup awards 2019 to 2023 CYTD, based on standard and available features offered. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760. 919-381-1760. LoanPronto.com. 919-381-1760. NMLS 1661781. Subject to lender approval. Equal housing lender. Now is the time to switch to Spectrum. Get Spectrum Internet delivering fast and reliable speeds for just $49.99 a month plus free advanced wi-fi for enhanced security and a free spectrum mobile unlimited line with nationwide 5g ask how you can get a visa rewards card up to 500 dollars when you add more mobile lines internet advanced wi-fi and mobile get it all with spectrum one go to spectrum.com for full details offer subject to change valid for qualified residential customers only restrictions apply The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. People got to stop dropping. We have Ben in Durham on line one, getting ready to play the numbers game. Uh, line two just became open because somebody's call dropped. You got to check it. Maybe it was the Eclipse. We'll blame the Eclipse. Everything gets blamed on the Eclipse today. Careful, babe. So call in if you want to play. There's still time. 919-860-5326. Normally, we don't have this little second call, so take advantage of it. 919-860-5326. To six, uh, the prize today: America's favorite car show returns to the Tar Heel State with a hot rodding event. You don't want to miss uh, two tickets, a pair of tickets, I should say, to Good Guys Ninth Griot's, uh Garage North Carolina Nationals at the NC State Fairgrounds, April nineteenth through April twenty first. I do see somebody uh, on the line. Dennis is working the lines back there. So in in the meantime, we'll go to Ben in Durham. Ben in Durham, are you there? Ben in Durham. 
Yeah, hello. Oh, How you doing? There you go. Gotcha. Uh, by way of being on the line and staying on the line, you get to go first. So go ahead and pick your category. NFL, uh, uh, E, those are all last names that start with E, NFL, Arizona State alum, NBA, current players only, and NHL, Canes and Whalers only. I'll do NBA, current players only. All right. All of these players currently in the NBA. Uh, I will give you the team and the player. Give me their jersey number. Uh, you have 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, you do have one pass if you need it. Any questions before we get started? No, good to go. All right. Your time will start when you hear the horn. 99.9. Whoa. Whoa. I'm clearly, uh, it's the eclipse. It's All the right. eclipse. Are you ready, Ben? Because here it comes. Yeah, I'm ready All to right. go. Zion Williamson, New Orleans Pelicans. Number one. Correct. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, 21. Incorrect. Bradley Beal, Phoenix Suns. Four. Incorrect. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, pass. Uh, Jalen Green, Houston Rockets. 20. Incorrect. Uh, Bradley Beal, Phoenix Suns. Number three. Correct. Anthony Edwards, Minnesota Timberwolves. Zero. You know what? You're, uh, you, uh, there was a pattern here. You got two right. You got Zion Williamson, number one. Shea Gilgis Alexander was the next one I read you. He wears number two. Bradley Beal with the Phoenix Suns, which you did get. He wore number three. Jalen Green with the Houston Rockets. I think you know where I'm going with this. He wears number yep. four. And Anthony Edwards with the Minnesota Timberwolves wore number five. So there was a, a pattern there that you didn't quite catch on. You did get two, though. Solid number. Uh, good way to start the week. Uh, sit on hold, and, and we'll see if it holds up, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Very formal. I like that. Uh, we have Dave in Fuquay Varina. Dave, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, you are thrown straight from the uh, – the call in right into the mix. Pick your category. NFL. Uh, NFL. All right. Do you want NFL E's, all last names that start with E, or NFL Arizona State alum? Uh, NFL E's. E's. All right. All of these players have a last name that starts with the letter E. I will give you the player name and the team. Give me their jersey number. 30 seconds on the clock. You do have one pass if you need it. Uh, any last second questions? Nope. All right. Your time will start when you hear the horn. Gus Edwards, Baltimore Ravens. Five. Incorrect. Mike Evans, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 82. Incorrect. Gus Edwards, Baltimore Ravens. 12. Incorrect. Mike Evans, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 80. Incorrect. Gus Edwards, Baltimore Ravens. Uh, ten, uh, 10. Incorrect. Mike Evans, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, 84. Incorrect. Gus Edwards, Baltimore Ravens. 3. Incorrect. Mike Evans, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I, I think it is fair. Oh, don't do that. He he was he was thrown straight into the fire. Dave, you were just you were you were just grabbing at straws there, weren't you? Did Dave Dave out of here? All right. And Dave was like, I'm done. <laughs> I do think it's funny when they're very obviously just throwing numbers out and then they get like four, eighty five, nine, and then they get like uh 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 T- 10? No, no, no. 12. I'm like, you're just throwing numbers out there. What was wrong with 10? Uh, ben in Durham. Ben, you are the winner. Congrats. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, sit on the line, and Dennis will get the info he needs to make sure you can uh, get your tickets, all right? All right, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, again, very very, very formal there. Um, not the hottest start to a week, but it could be worse. It wasn't a double offer. There were good energy. Uh, we'll, we'll give away more tickets to the the, the car show uh, throughout the week, so so be ready to call in. But let's let's set that as the low bar. Let's 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 get better as a unit, shall we? Um, the other thing that took place uh, today, and we we haven't talked about it in a while, is the Panthers have opened their off season. They are one of four teams that today get to for the first time uh, assemble as a team. Right? We're talking conditioning. We're talking meetings which is also like a big moment for Dave Canales, right? There's a few big moments in a, in a coach's career, right? A head coach's career, your intro presser, uh, your first draft, your first game. Another one is just the first time as a head coach, you go in and talk to your guys, right? You grab the podium, you grab the, the piece of real estate up front in the team room, and you get to start setting your tone. 
Now, I'm not going to say it's the end-all, be-all. I'm not saying, you know, oh, if Dave Canales misspeaks, it's the end of the world. But I do think you are kind of establishing how your team is going to look at you from the moment you are standing up there for the first time. Are you a pushover? Are you somebody that uh, that is is collaborative? Or are you somebody that stands on what you know? Hey, this is how we're going to do things. This is what time I need you. Like, it's it's all a, a, a give and take. And for the first time, Dave Canales is at the front of a meeting room in the NFL. I believe the last time he was a head coach was something like a JV high school team. And he has said in multiple instances that if that's as far as his coaching career went, he would have been happy. Well, it, you know, it's gone further than that. You know what I mean? The the I actually think being a coach in the NFL inherently is a difficult managerial task because you know there are guys in that room that would win a power struggle, right? If you both go to the owner and say, it's me or him, there are guys in that room where they're, all right, fine, you got to go then. Like it's, it's, there are guys that make more money than you. There are guys that have more cachet in the league than you, but you have to be the voice leading the way. That takes a special person. That takes a special type of person. It takes a special kind of authenticity. I will, I will go to my grave believing this. There is not a better judge for authenticity, for how authentic you're being, than a locker room. If you walk into a locker room trying to be something you're not, it'll take them 12 seconds to be like, to probably start making fun of you for it. But it's it's for better or worse, just what locker rooms do, right? If if I don't know if if you think pretend you like to listen to music that you don't like to listen to, it'll take two seconds before they're like, name a song, say a lyric, what's your favorite album? Like they, they I don't know how they just the locker rooms are that way. If Dave Canales walks up there. And and he is pretending to be Dave Pete Carroll, and he's not full Pete Carroll. It'll take two seconds for them to be like, "Hey, little Pete." It'll take two seconds. So this is a big moment for him. It's a big moment for the team. It's a big moment for him, and uh, and we'll see how it goes from here. Other than that, you know, eventually you'll start putting in plays. You'll start installing the playbook. You'll start putting in checks and audibles and and all these things. For today, it's really just what's your leadership style going to be. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The wait is over, North Carolina. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live here in North Carolina, and it's been live for almost a month now. Now you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. And for a limited time, new customers who sign up using our promo code, my promo code, Tim D, that's T-I-M-D, with no spaces. All you have to do is sign up with the promo code, Bet $5, and you will instantly receive $250 in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. NHL postseason's coming up. The games are going to mean more. The effort, the intensity is going to mean more. If you want to ramp up the intensity even further, throw a goal scorer bet or or an anytime goal scorer bet, first goal scorer bet. There's a bunch of different ways to bet the NHL playoffs. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD with no spaces and bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code TIMD, T-I-M-D with no spaces. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. We'll take a break when we come back. One last time, NC State season came to an end over the weekend. Appreciate the greatness. Stick around. 
Contractors, when you're trying to stay competitive, every dollar counts. Consider Habitat for Humanity for your new cabinets and kitchen design services. Habitat for Humanity Restores now sells brand new solid wood cabinets, high quality and manufactured locally, available in multiple styles and color options. Everybody wins because you save money and can stay competitive, which keeps your customers happy and sales benefit Habitat for Humanity home projects. Learn more about custom cabinet orders from Triangle Restores at trianglerestores.org. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you are tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's own power to repair and restore store damaged tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Sheenkup. Dr. Sheenkup is a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, and publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about some exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime. 919-400-5473. With locations in Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest. 919-400-5473. 73. Organize easy. Organize tough. Customize your work truck or van with Upfit Solutions from Van Products. Steel and aluminum shelving, toolboxes, data files, cabinets, drawers, conduit carriers, ladder racks, everything safe and secure. Everything built as unbreakable as you by Adrian Steel. Backed by the best warranty in the business. Three years, 36,000 miles. Everything custom installed by Van Products so you know it's done right. From a single work rig to a fleet, choose custom installed Upfit Solutions from Van Products. Making dinner, trimming your hair, mowing the lawn. Sure, you can do it all yourself, but why? At AutoBell Car Wash, our team cleans your whole car from the inside out in 15 minutes or less. We do the work so you don't have to. People can tell we do AutoBell. Your new Academy Sports and Outdoor store is now open in Nightdale with great brands at the best prices. In here, you'll always find the gear you need to do what you love out there. Get it all at your new Academy Sports and Outdoor store in Nightdale. There's no bigger way to show off your fandom than with your sneakers. Head to Capital Buy, Sell, Trade, the largest sneaker store in the state of North Carolina, located on Glenwood Avenue right here in Raleigh. Capital Buy, Sell, Trade. Follow them on Instagram at CapitalBST919. Sneakers, vintage streetwear, Capital BST. It's brews, blues, and barbecue. Saturday, April 13th from 3 till 9 at Hugger Mugger Brewing in downtown Sanford. And you don't want to miss it. Live bands, a barbecue cook-off, and the beer hall all in one afternoon. Tickets are selling fast. Get yours today at Event. Bright.com. Tim Donnelly here for my friends at Zero Res. April showers bring May flowers. Well, how about this? Sitting on your couch in March brings crumbs and stains and spills on your carpet in April. That's where Zero Res comes in. Get your carpets cleaned. Not only is indoor air quality an issue year-round, but especially now that allergens and pollens are coming out of hibernation to invade your home. Get them all, the dust, the dander, everything out of your house using Zero Res. Get three rooms of your carpet Zero Resified starting at just $105 and if you get your air ducts cleaned, they'll clean your dryer vent for free. That's a $165 value. Call my friends at Zero Res right now. 919-995-0000 or go online at ZeroResNC.com and say you want the 99.9 The Fan special. Zero Res. Spell it backwards or forwards. It spells the same and your your house will smell clean. Want to keep your gas-powered engines running like new? Staples' proprietary formulas are proven by third-party testing to outperform the competition in keeping fuel fresh, preventing corrosion, and cleaning the entire fuel system. With Stable, you can have confidence you are doing the right thing for your engine's long-term health. Just pour into your gas can or fuel tank, then top off with fresh fuel. At every fill-up or when you store, start with Stable. Available where fuel additives are sold. Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I think my battery's dead. With free battery testing and charging, we can help you get back on the road. Get in zone, AutoZone. So what if I need a new one? We have the right Duralast battery for you, only at AutoZone. Get in zone, AutoZone. And what about my old battery? We can recycle it right here at America's number one battery destination. Get in zone, AutoZone. Restrictions apply.
The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. As awesome as the NC State run to the Final Four is, was, could be, should be, as awesome as it was for those who experienced it, it's over. Was that was that too cold? Uh, it's done. Move on. No. Uh, we will, though, right? And we're going to dive into more of the the – Nuts and bolts of the season ending for all the teams in the triangle, the the future of, what are you confident in moving forward? We're, we're going to look at everything. But I do think today and this past weekend and with the NCAA tournament coming to a close tonight in the national championship game, it's one final moment to just celebrate it for what it was, right? I, had the, I, I said this earlier. I don't know if I said it on air. I know I said it all fair to a few people. I got into a, a back and forth with a UNC supporter on Twitter. Now I know, I know what you're saying. Oh, well, that's where all of life's important conversations take place, right? Social media. Of course. Hidden behind, uh, you know, avatars. But they were very, like, I was trying to explain to him or, or them, I guess. I don't, I don't, I was trying to explain to the Twitter user that. Sometimes something really awesome and great is just something really awesome and great. And it doesn't have to be like an act of, of insulting someone else, right? Like NC State's challenge, and we talked about this earlier, is trying to turn this run into something more sustainable. But if all it is is a great month and a half that raised their fans into, into a state of euphoria – that's all it has to be, right? You don't want it to just be that, but that that's a pretty cool thing in and of itself. Right? It, it, and and you know, the the thing that this person kept saying on on Twitter was uh UNC is going to look at NC State, pat him on the head and say, "Good job, buddy." And I was going like, "I can't emphasize enough how no one cares what you're doing right now." Right? Like, the only thing that matters for NC State fans is the run they just went on. So you can pat heads. You can do whatever you want. Uh, like, it's you've had years where you are the center of attention. I'll even say North Carolina and Duke have had plenty more years where they are the center of attention. This ain't one of them. And if I'm a State fan, I enjoy that. Because there is something to be to be said for, like, rivalries are great for the back and forth. I love college sports for that reason. I love the, we're better at you than this. Oh, yeah, well, we have this banner. Oh, yeah, well, we have this player. Oh, yeah, well, like, I love the back and forth. But the time you actually win those arguments is when they're chirping at you and you get to say, listen, man, I don't care what you're saying right now. You can be as mean as you want to be. I'm too busy over here enjoying myself based on what my team did. And I do think State needs to be there for – a day or two, right? Fans. Kevin Keats better already be making calls in the portal. He better have been making calls in the portal between the the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight. Like, because everybody else was, and, and and by the way, they already got the commitment from the the uh Louisville transfer, uh, whose name is escaping me. So they obviously were, but it, it is it is important that you don't automatically become taking it for granted. This is 41 years waiting. Do you know how crazy it would be to to have something for four, first time in 41 years and like 20 minutes after it be like, what else he got for me? Again, that's the challenge of the program. That's the challenge of the coaches. That's the challenge of, of the, the administration is how do we maximize it? How do we maximize it? How do we maximize it? How do we make this a stepping stone to something better? But if you are a fan, you've been clamoring for this for 41 years. Take a couple days to just enjoy it before you start nitpicking. Take a couple days to enjoy it before you start going, you know, uh, we got this this incoming freshman who's kind of you know he's an in-state kid. He scored seventy points in a game in practice, or sorry, in in, in high school. Uh, there's going to be some things. You know the 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 cliches are real. You know don't don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Heck, smile because it, it at any point in time happened. I I've, I we've talked about the magic of March. It's why March Madness is perfect. 
It's why I will be furious if they expand it. It's why I don't love the first-round games. To me, a 64-team single elimination tournament featuring this year like 19 to 25-year-olds, when in actuality it usually is 19 to 23-year-olds. When you take that specific formula, there is something about it that creates magic. And when you are a fan of the team or you are a part of the team, that that magic happens to smile upon that year, enjoy the ride. Mm Mm-hmm. Grab onto that monster and hold on as long as you can because it doesn't happen for everyone. And sometimes it will only happen one time in your life. You might be at the other hand of it, right? Next year, a Florida Gulf Coast, you might state might be a three seed next year. And then oh, look at that. There's a Fairleigh Dickinson waiting for them in the first round. And you might be on the other side of it. And and all you're gonna have is the knowledge that sometimes lightning in a bottle, there's nothing you can do about it. And you might just go, you know what? This was us last year. And you're going to really wish you appreciated it then. Because, I mean, you can look across the triangle. Duke and Carolina, they have, what, 11 national championships between the two of them? Yeah. You know what else they have? Some some brutal upsets that they fell victim to that that their fans are going, mm, March isn't very fun when that happens. One happened here in Raleigh at PNC Arena. They lost to Mercer. Yeah. How do you like that, Duke fans? Yeah. We, we just spent six minutes praising NC State and then brought up a brutal upset from a couple years ago. Take that. But it, but it is like the, there's both sides to that coin, and you have to make sure you understand that on any given year you can be on the other side too. It was super cool um, after the game when the players were leaving the court. Uh, I was walking. I was standing right there in front of the NC State fan section uh, ready to go to the locker rooms. And the whole NC State section, they stood the entire game, by the way. Massive round of applause. And like, everyone just saying, like, just thank you. And I remember talking to a lot of fans leaving the arena later on that evening, just asking how they felt, about their thoughts about the run. They're like, they, they give us an awesome memory. Like, we never thought this would ever was going to happen. It's like, yeah, I'm bummed we lost. But I was like, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. It's, it's this a, moment. Like, it's they're, very, they're, they, they soaked it all in. It's a very complicated feeling of... You know, one more game would have been so cool. But also, you know, the past four games were so cool. Exactly. Like, it's 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 a little bit of both and, and I get the conflicted nature of it, but it's it's you know I think overall you came out way ahead. Right? You were down to your final chip there for a while and you walked out with a with a big chip stack you can cash out at the table mm-hmm. as far as memories. And and you know that's March. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Before I let you know what uh, what's going to lead off overdrive, I want to let you know what can save you a bunch of money on your, your energy bill, and that's new windows from Window Nation. I wouldn't be endorsing this company if I didn't have complete trust in them. They have the experience. They have the credibility. They have the the knowledge, right? They came to my house. They gave me a, a demonstration. They had science fair projects, or that's what it seemed like, to show me all the different ways that, that windows impact your home and how, how enjoyable your home is, how usable your home is. And, and I left knowing that that you can trust them right? Measure your windows. They measure them three, four, five times just to make sure they fit correctly. All they do are windows. So they're not coming in saying like, yeah, we'll fix this. We'll fix that. We will reseal your, your, your driveway. And no, they're like your windows. We know windows. We're experts on windows. We'll make your windows as good and as quality as they can possibly be. They're trusted by over 200,000 homeowners and, and they want to be trusted by you. Give them a call. 866-90-NATION. That's 866-90-NATION. Right now, they have a buy two windows, get two free, plus pay nothing with no interest for two full years deal going on. And that buy two, get two deal, there's no limit. No limit on the savings. You can you can keep going. Buy two, get two. Uh, the, the website to check out, windonation.com. For more, that's windonation.com. Make sure they know we sent you. Uh, to start off Overdrive, we've talked a lot about the big picture of NC State. We did take a segment earlier to talk about the quote-unquote little picture, the game against Purdue. How did they lose? That's going to lead off Overdrive coming up next right here on 99.9 The Fan. We'll see you tomorrow at 3. Have a great night, everybody. 
bring on the madness. But unfortunately, the pack's journey ends here in Phoenix tonight, and so does one of the most memorable seasons in recent NC State basketball history. The inbound to Ross, and UConn can see history. One win away from a repeat national championship. College basketball tournament action on 99.9 The Fan is powered by Carolina Alehouse, Fairway Green, and Bailey's Fine Jewelry. It's bow time. Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bose Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bose Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a seasoned to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just $5 or a two bird dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. Sanja loves to bake, but her feet, they were throbbing. Then one day, I found a solution. Arch supports from the Good Feet store. Half foot pain? Good Feet could help. You too can live the life you love with Arch supports from the Good Feet store. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760. 919-381-1760. LoanPronto.com. 919-381-1760. NMLS 1661781. Subject to lender approval. Equal housing lender. The Body Armor State Games are coming to Charlotte this June. Registration is open to athletes of all ages and skill levels in 25 different sports. The Body Armor State Games feature 13,000 athletes and 700 teams. Don't miss out on North Carolina's largest sports festival of the year. Visit BodyArmorStateGames.org today. The Body Armor State Games are proud to partner with Truist, Harris Teeter, and Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Spring, new beginnings, maybe new chances at life in the bedroom? Guys, if Mother Nature needs a little assistance helping you spring into action, Arise Urology Clinic offers the hope and help you need thanks to Core Wave Therapy. Spring on over to corewavetherapy.com to check out Core Wave or call Arise Urology Clinic for Men at 919-459-5400. Again, learn more or schedule an appointment today at corewavetherapy.com. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon and all backed by staples print perfect guarantee so it's done right or it's printed again free staples your local print and marketing expert and 61 visit staples.com slash print for details Get in zone, auto zone. welcome to AutoZone. what are you working on today i think my battery's dead with free battery testing and charging we can help you get back on the road get in zone, auto. so what if i need a new one we have the right Duralast battery for you, only at AutoZone. Get in zone, AutoZone. And what about my old battery? We can recycle it right here at America's number one battery destination. Get in zone, AutoZone. Restrictions apply. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. 
WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. It's 6 o'clock. Time to shift into overdrive. All highlights, no filler. As we run it back from the drive with Tim Donnelly. Uh, we talked a lot of big picture stuff about NC State earlier in the show, right? The, the run coming to an end, how fun it was, the appreciate it, what can you do to build off of it? What we didn't talk enough about is the game. Why didn't they beat Purdue? How didn't they beat Purdue? What looked like it was unstoppable at times during the, the, the tournament, both ACC and NCAA, why didn't that work against Purdue? Here's the first thing I'm going to say. The wheels did not fall off for NC State, okay? This was not a game where they did not belong. It was not a game that gave the people that said, the only reason NC State's in the, the Final Four is because the tournament is wacky. Did not give them any fodder, right? Did not give them any ammunition. They looked like they belonged, particularly on defense. They held Purdue, who had been at times rolling through teams in the tournament, made them very uncomfortable. Which, for NC State, is an accomplishment, right? Like, Zach Eady uh, turned the ball over a bunch. Those shooters on the perimeter were not comfortable shooting. There was frustration. They forced one of the more level-headed guards, Smith, uh, for Purdue, one of the more level-headed kind of veteran, you're not going to rattle him guards, into multiple backcourt violations. Like, like, they did a lot of very good things on defense. Here's what I think it boils down to. Two, two things, actually. One, the big guys for NC State had a really hard time scoring, and I do think you have to tip your cap to Purdue on some of that. And two, Michael O'Connell got hurt. And and we'll talk about them in reverse order. We'll talk about the O'Connell injury first. I love the warrior mentality, right? I uh, Stretch me out. Like, put me on the bike. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. I actually think that worked against NC State a little bit because it was – it threw off rhythm. He's in. He's out. He's in. He's out. He's hurt. He's good. He only played three minutes there in the second half. And those three minutes were wincing.